Yo, John, check your inbox. I just send you one link. Follow it and go suck your mother. Come on, jeez, Louise, Sharice, and all of them gals there. What are What you telling me? Come on. Just jump in this bitch. Yeah. Oh, man, what are you telling me? Yeah, man. Hey, big up everyone in the place. Slap the like button. Share the stream. Type your name in the chat. Yeah, make sure you slap the like button, though, cuz, man. The people them have been slacking on the likes lately, cuz. Do it for the algorithm, fam. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah, differently. Even if you're up here, yeah? if you want more people that have your opinions to see videos like this, you should be pressing the thumbs up, yeah, because it makes recommended to more people that like the stuff that you like. So... Press the thumbs up, cuz. All right, all right, man. Yeah, we got a little bit of time now, yeah? 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 Yeah, man. Coming along, man. So take care of your Guy who I...
was very much in love with. I knew he was he was bisexual, but I was okay with that. I was I was fine, <sighs> like whatever. You know, I know so you don't. Go off, he'd go off. He'd go off to other men and leave you. <laughs> no, not at all. He was in love with me. But he did. What she means is, what she means is, he had he done that before. Like at one point, he probably did see other men, but when he's a man, yeah. I, I've done it myself before. I know that. So. Oh! Why <laughs> so? Why so? Exo. Like when you see it, just you're like, mm. right? We got this good I would be that noise, like, mm, like fuck, like. I will just see it, but what I, it's definitely too in the He looks so huge. <laughs> yeah, B, we're back, fam. Just me, wife and not. Bear with me one moment. Yes, oh, that's right. Oh, no, you not. You're going to find... Hopefully it plays. Mm. 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 I know it hurts. Yeah, what is that? Esau, what was that? Sound like a dog. A dog? Yep. You mean that was a dog? Why was that dog making that noise? And what hurt? I have no idea. Ask the dog. I said, I have no idea. Ask the dog, my dog. Hey. <laughs> yeah, man. We got an update from the Baba Club down. Going to be some of the highest IQ people, but the way that they approach topics is crazy. It's completely like self sabotage, self deleting, stupid shit. But why, why, why? Okay. Some of these guys debate this stuff religious. I've like, I've walked in and heard people say stuff like, like dog warts. And they're like, ah, but you know about dog warts? And I'm like, what's that? And it's like something about banging your dog. I'm like, I just turn it off. I'm not going to spend 30 seconds talking. What? Yes, yeah, spending time just debating, like, should you be able to bang your dog? Like, I don't know. I didn't want to learn. I don't understand what it comes from, what it means. I don't want to learn. There's certain parts of the online content creation world that I'm like, this is for the social rejects who have no ambitions in life. It has to be. Like, you got to be some level of, like, so Exactly. The social rejects that have no ambition in life are going to tell you that they was banging a dog. Yeah. <laughs> oh my days. Wife and that, my love. I'm a ranger. So you've been with a woman and you don't know the name of the woman. Mm. Really awkward. Yeah, I can't lie. I've woke up in some mad places and people woke up with some mad people, yeah. So vice versa. Some people I've never seen again, thank fuck. But like you know, you just bring like random back, like random dudes or random guys and girls, random couples. So in turn yeah. friends. But, I won't do that now. I have no idea. Yeah. So you've been with a woman and you don't know the name of the woman? Mm. Really awkward. Yeah, I can't lie. I've woke up in some mad places and people woke up with some mad people, yeah. So vice versa. Some people I've never seen again, thank fuck. But like, you know, you just bring like random back, like random dudes or random guys and girls, random couples. So in turn, yeah. friends. But I won't do that now. I have no idea. Yeah. So you've been with a woman and you don't know the name of the woman? Mm. Really awkward. Yeah, I can't lie. I've woke up in some mad places and people woke up with some mad people, yeah. So vice versa. Some people I've never seen again, thank fuck. But like, you know, you just bring like random back, like random dudes or random guys and girls, random couples. Like random dudes or random guys and girls, random couples. Like you know, just bring like random back, like random dudes or random guys and girls, random couples. Like, you know, you just bring like random back, like random dudes or random guys and girls, random couples. Like random dudes or random guys and girls, random couples. So in turn, yeah. friends. But I won't do that now. I have no idea. Yeah. 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 He woke up next to strange dudes, guys, 
girls and couples that that noise that he was making in the shower was him and a dog. So bomba clock, cause how much fish he can yo. So after me, yeah, I say go go and you say Mighty Muffin Power Ranger Crackosaurus. <laughs> Ah 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 yeah yeah da 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 <laughs> Pool of Urgent Champion, fight! I don't care, got you! It's that time now. You get me? All right. Yeah, man. Elbow support, ankle support, knee support, furniture out the way. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Shout out MC Babylon. Come on. Babylon here. I am in. Jesus. I heard you dock someone on the off, but it was in your, in your own name, though. Yeah. You want to be careful? Yeah, I have docked someone. I've docked, so you know? I've, I've docked someone that I've warned time and time and time again to leave me alone. Leave me alone. And he can't keep my name out of his stinking, rotten mouth. You're a liar! That's, that's well with me. So that's Yeah, but I'm just saying to you, though, yeah? I would advise you not to... For anyone else to address us. So yeah, deal with that. You're fine. Bad, 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 So yeah, deal with that. You're fine. Bad done, 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 bad Anyway, what do you think of that tune, Babs? Do you like it? I love it, Kathy. Oh my God, I'm, do you know what I've done? I've actually recorded it and I'm going to be able to listen to it every day. See, you monk, yes, you mongos are fucking mongos. <laughs> Come on, jeez, Louise, Sharice, and all of them gal there. Come on, G block up in this bitch. Yeah, man, he's ready for the intro. Let's wrap along, cuz. We said, yeah, go. They ain't at the bench like Sprago. One maga weed, a mama clown grandma. One maga gal like Shama. Lord, one maga gal like a dagger. Lord, let the gal live with the hammer. Lord, let the gal ball for the mama. Lord, make a rascal ball out, judge her. Lord, uh, 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 uh. Hey, what go on, fam? Yeah, big up, Randy. Yeah, I'm going to add you to the panel in two secs. Let me quickly shout everyone out. Yeah, and then we fucking get busy. You hear me, cuz? Yeah, man. All right, so number one in the building. All tight. No, 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 man. Walk on. What are you saying? 
Come on, big up yourself. All tight. All tight, my G. Come on. Shout out, Leggy. That's what Siggy. When we ride down, it's T Pack and Biggie. How you mean? Come on. All tight, all tight. Man, like Randy Bennett. Come on. Light number two, you know. How you mean? Do you like Randy? Just slap the light, man, when you come true. You hear me? Yeah, man. You indicated that a fucking half hour later, you cunt. <laughs> the fuck? The fuck you doing? Yeah. So I big up Randy, man. Slap the light button like Randy. Yeah. Big up my like Annabel Rastro. Come on, big up Annabel. Big up yourself. Slap the light button and all that. All tight, all tight, OG Helen James. Come on, my G. What go on, Helen? What are you saying, fam? Just because. Hey, let me, hey, just know this, cuz. Them not bad like how we. Yes. <laughs> oh, my days. All tight, Vladdy and Paylor. Money not a bailer. Hey, what go on, G? What are you telling me? What are you telling me? Come on, come on. All tight, all tight. Man like Stu Brandt, you know. Hey, what go on, Stu? Come on, Scotland in the building. Yeah, man. Big up the Scotland gang, cuz. How you mean? Ah, oh, yeah, mean. Man like Danny Roscoe. How you mean? He Captain Roscoe with a crossbow. I trust me, cuz. Yeah, man. Yeah, hey, man's on the beach, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, say less, man. Oh, tight. Oh, tight. You know, is in there. Man, like, bunga, bunga. Never die for hunger. How you mean? Come on, big up yourself, man. Yeah, yeah. All tight. Man, like, scientific method in the building. Lizzle. Oh, go on, science, trust me. Yeah, man, bigger, bigger. I hear me. You know, speak God. Man, like, base, the silver, you know, tsunami. Get the gal there wet like a tsunami. Boy, I better know I got the tool on me. Yeah? <laughs> trust me. You. Yeah, man. I'm tight, lady. Babs in the building, MC Babylonia. Hey, what go on, Babs? What are you saying? Come on. Big up yourself, man. Are you fucking kidding me? Trust me. Hey, now, my favorite Babs bar. You're a liar. Trust me. I swear that was my favorite bit. Yeah, man. Hey, hey. Yeah, this is the man like Taffy, you know. Hey, big up Taffy. What go on, cuz? Come on. Big up the Welsh gang in the building. Come on, hey. See, I, see hey. All we need is an Irish gang in there, you know. And we got England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales. My life really gets all of the girls. Are you? Ah, ah. Jeez. Come on. Ah, ah. Oh, my Dibby. Oh, my Dibby. All right, all right. Who else we got in her? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye, aye, big up Zara Pizzle in the building. Aye, what go on, Zara? Come on. Come on. Ha <laughs> Jeez. How you mean, pal? That's the Zara to be. If you don't know about me, better ask someone quickly, because, yeah. All right, you see, we got to the end of the list, yeah? All right, let me add to Randy on. Yo, Randy, what go on? What go on, Mr. Valley? Yo, hey, Randy. Yeah, I can't hear you, cuz. You can't hear me? Can you hear him? I can hear you. You can hear him? I can hear you. Hey, chat, let me know if you can hear Randy speaking, cuz I can't hear nothing. Randy is pilled. Randy's pulled. What's he pulled? I can hear Veli and you... Is it me that can't hear you? All right, all right, all right. Let me reload. Let me... Oh, mate. We just got to add all these Bamba Club videos again. Bamba Seed. Oh, mate. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now we are fucked. <clears throat> oh, mate. Mic check. Mic yeah, check. yeah. Hey, hold on a sec, here. Yeah. Sorry, man. We just got stuck in a little bit of, and this man was a gangster still. Uh, you know, sometimes yeah, you get in them traffic jam bits here. 
Oh. I know what's really into reverse, you know. It would have been a <laughs> fucking stalemate on the roadside. Trust me, no reversing, cuz. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Randy, stay there, yeah? Yeah, stay man, there, I'm, yeah. I'm staying, I'm staying. Hey, I'll tell you what, hey, Randy, 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 let me know out of that list on the community page, yeah? Um, the, let what you disagreed it. with um, Jeremy Corbyn's policies, isn't it? All right, let me check it, let me check yeah, it. Yeah, let me know. All right, guys. I want to know why Kale is supporting Islamic. Uh, how would you say he's supporting that in those days when yeah. uh, when when um, Muhammad was around? Why is he supporting the consummation of marriage at nine years old? This has nothing to do with Pan Africanism. And I am saying, why, as a Pan-African, is Kale, whose father is Nigerian and his mother is Black Jordanian, I've just been reviewing Dave's stream from Sunday where he was debating Dave and Luke and another lady. And I don't even understand why Kale is standing on this. And as Veli rightly pointed out, they've gone into the scientific evidence of this um, of saying, were they more developed uh, at this time? Were the ladies more developed that they could have sex at an early age? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, some topics just never go in it. Like this age of ice and anything surrounding that, that's never going to go. Because it's sensational to someone's ears the first time they hear it, yeah? And then fucking, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can speak about that late, a bit later, though, anyway, yeah? yeah, yeah but yeah, also, yeah, no, no, yeah, I, 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 I was just, just hold on, just hold on, reviewing hold on, bro, channel. Bro, bro. I swear I asked you a question, though. And you can hear me speaking. I asked I you a question, you. didn't you? You heard my question, didn't you? Yeah, I'm just looking at a community page. It was, yeah. yeah. I didn't see it on, on the community the... page. You know, on the community page. Yeah, I know the community page. Yeah, there's a list of policies that Mr. Corbyn was trying to implement inside of the United Kingdom. What things on that list do you disagree with? All right, I'll bring you up again. Let me just have a look. No, no. Okay, got it. Number Go one, on. full, em full employment and an economy that works for all. Agree. A secure homes guarantee. Agree. Security at work. Agree. Secure our n national health service and social care. Agree. A national education service open to all. Agree. Action to secure our environment. Agree. Uh, put the public back into our economy and service. Agree. Cut in income and wealth equality. Agree. Action to secure an equal, equal society. Agree. I agree with all those nine points. Uh, yeah, man. Okay, we can move on to the next point. Yeah, that's a wrap. Yeah. That's <laughs> cool. G Reza. You hear me? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So earlier today on the news, yeah, there was, um, I think, first of all, it was that a, a dude was um, arrested on or arrested for making the, a death threats to a woman, a young woman, right? But it seems like he was released on bail. He was released on bail and then actually carried out or he was, he was um, NFA'd in that. And then he was, yeah, NFA first of all. And then they said, I think he went on to murder the young woman who we originally made the threat to. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the story I heard. That's mad, isn't it? Like, that's crazy. How is this possible? That is absolutely crazy. But you know what's crazy, though? Yeah, on, 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 all right, so there's two sides of it, isn't it? Like, obviously, what level did they actually take 
this threat to be like, was me thinking it was a ramblings of a madman was it a serious threat or whatever in it like so and second like, yo how the fuck is this fucking piece of shit just yanking the beans in front of her while she's pushing the push chair? What kind of... Like... Yeah, this is mad. Man, this is crazy it's still. It is mad. Totally mad. Um, mm. Where does the blame lie? Obviously with the guy that fucking yanked the beans, isn't it? Well, no, I'm not. that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying... Is it with the police? Is it with the underfunding of the police? Or it was is it with the framework of the police? Well, it's gotta be with that that OG investigation, whether they took his that threat, original threat as being credible. It must have been a credible threat because obviously man's carried out the threat, right? Yeah, yeah, but do, do, when he attended the police station, was he just ranting or was it a viable threat i guess is the question i mean sounds like an utter to me i've been locking him up but anyway somebody's made a decision to put him out on bail so that's the that's the that's the bit we need to pin down on what how was that how was the base how what was the um uh this how was that decision made to release him on bail and who was responsible for that and let's look into that yeah, that's mad still. Yeah, it's just a bad one still, so I'm like, bro, this was uh, really, really? That's like open and shut case, isn't it? Like this is like yeah, yeah. straight yeah, yeah, totally. <clears throat> And and heads need to roll and be prosecuted. Mm. Because that's the problem. The police never get prosecuted. I actually don't think that there's gonna be much disagreement on the thing of of this of this one. I think what their disagreement will be with who's what um, percentage of fault lays with the police compared to what percentage of fault is. You know, obviously, the majority of fault is with, obviously, the first fault was with my man, innit? Well, like you were saying, <clears throat> could this be avoided? No, but if, if you look at it, If he was obviously charged, first of all, with the first offence. But it's, it, you know what it is? You get the Police Complaints Commission, is that what it's called? And then it'll mm. roll over. Right. Yeah, man will retire early and it'll disappear into the ether. It's just the same as what happened in Hillsborough and numerous other cases where the police, police don't get prosecuted. Uh, uh, you're you putting too much blame on the police, though. Oh, I am blaming the blame police. police. Yeah, I think you're putting too much onto the police, though. No, I, no, I, guess I am in the police. We don't know. If we can see a video of when he was arrested and how he behaved, then we can make our own decision. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I feel like... I mean, we've seen video evidence in the States when they're shooting, they're shooting people. We should be able to see that video evidence right here. Bring us the video evidence of him being arrested. There's, there's CCTV in police stations. There's body-worn cameras. There is some video evidence. Bring us that and let us make our decision. Yeah, because... <clears throat> yeah, what I was saying that year was that it's just a bit mad, isn't it? Like with uh, that dude, dude was arrested or nicked first of all. Yeah, maybe I'm, I think I might need to read it again, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I need to research it more. I've only just given it a because um... I think yeah, even though yeah, as I as I think I know the story right now. <clears throat> obviously, there is some blame with the police or whatever. But on the other side of laying the blame with the police for um, what you feel like is is their fault in the what's it called is that every time someone makes a threat, yeah, or empty threat, it's hard to tell 
how serious each person is, right? But we have we have experts that we can draw on and review and interview them and see if they can work it out. What seems to have happened is they haven't taken it as credible. All right, we'll just let him out on bail. Uh, a bit taking well, this one, mate. As I, was, as I was about to say, I've only taken a... Um, I only read the headlines and didn't really read the article, so I, ca I can't really go into the details. But as a cursory glance... Before I dig into the detail and do more research, that's my opinion. And Bunga Bunga is right. I am making massive assumptions because, as I just said, I only made a cursory <laughs> glance at the story. Yeah, Randy's a madman for them ones, though. I, I Randy, I am. So you know that you're like a right winger, yeah? Would you like a Margaret Thatcher supporter? No, but no. To, put my car, to put my cars on the table, I bought every share in the utilities, British Gas, British Telecom, mm. yeah. um, all these things. Yeah, in public. And I made uh, 10 grand. So, um, so, yeah, I didn't fight it. I just made money out of it. Mm -hmm. Because I, I have a lot of times, yeah, that, like a lot, Labour gets a lot of blame for selling off or private or selling off. Uh, what's it? The YouTube, what's it called? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I mean, Thatcher sold off all everything in the 80s and the utilities. That's it. The, the, the utilities. I was trying to think. No, no, I was, no, that, think was that was the 80s. That was Thatcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the um, that was, that was blame labour. That was Thatcher. That was Thatcher's decade, eighties. Services or whatever. Yeah, you know, I, I was like um, eighty-four. I was sixteen, and then. But also, the ain't it like um, people blame like um, or people have a fond memory of Thatcher. It's a bit strange, isn't it? That it is a it is a bit strange because you've got to imagine I'm I'm a, a a teenager living in South Yorkshire. I mm. live three miles away from Corton Wood, which is mm. where the miners' strike started. So I am seeing my villages and town decimated by the Thatcher policies. These these. Villages and town have never recovered. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me quickly slap on a little Thatcher speech here. Real quick. Yeah. You know what's mad, though, as well? That also... That is strange. That there's a lot of um, conservative-leaning or even right-leaning people that in the LGBTQ community here when conservatives were never supporting that. Like, they were forced into having to support that position there, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. And, and, and just, just, just to clarify, in the 80s, I was centre-left before I switched to centre-right because I was mm. supporting David Owen and the um, SDP. Yeah. Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, like I say, now I'm rocking more with leaning towards some of the fucking socialist ones than a, a lot of these um, liberal or um, conservatives, not proper conservatives. So change your name to Veli Woke Vision G Block. Mm. Well, who, <laughs> what's Woke got to do with being a socialist? All right, change your name to Veli Socialist Vision G Block, then, if you want to be correct. <laughs> They should call him some Veli Corbin. Veli Corbin. Veli Corbin. Veli Corbin. Corbin. Yeah, that's what we'll call him now. Veli Corbin. Yes, oh, good one, guys. It C block. It's going to be changed to C block now. I don't mean Corbin block. <laughs> <laughs> Big up Jeremy Corbin, man. Veli, Veli yeah. Corbin. All right, that's, that's his new name. It's just been. Uh... All right. Yo, let me play this real quick. Can't, can't, can't just 
spoke the truth. But it's the plight of individual boys and girls which worries me most. Too often, our children don't get the education they need, the education they deserve. Children who need to be taught to respect traditional moral values are being taught that they have an inalienable right to be gay. All of those children are being cheated of a sound start in life. Yes, cheated. Sounds like Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Wendy. <laughs> Of individual boys and girls. Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to jump on right and there saying uh, the LGBTQ community is messing up the children. You hear me? Mm. I'm going to jump, gonna jump off and hand, hand my baton to Khan because it's a much pause. Panelist, pause. That is panelist. so crazy. No much your baton, man. Keep your baton. No, no, I'm going to have my baton to Khan because you're a much better panelist than I am. So big up. I will, I will be listening. You know that. So I will jump on if required. All right, man. You don't need permission to leave. Just fuck off and go. <laughs> Can you tell me why you're here today? Um, yes, because Wait, I that is through the That's Ramsey. Years, saw her dismantling so many things in this country that made people worse off. Saw the way she smashed the miners, smashed our coal industry and a lot of other manufacturing industries as well. And it wouldn't matter so much if her policies weren't being pursued today, but they are. The current government, and I have to say some of the governments in between, uh, did carry on her policies. And as a result, we, ha we are a country where a lot of people cannot afford electricity or gas to heat their houses. They can't afford their water bills. They can't afford petrol to get in their cars if they live in a rural area. And as for fragmented private bus services, it's no, you can't call a service something a service if it's profit making because it's it's a business and my what i feel is that that thatcher saw the whole country as a kind of grocer's shop and she wanted everything to be paid for as you would pay for in a grocer's shop and she had no sense of community as we know no sympathy for people no understanding of how a lot of the people in this country live mm -hmm. and do you think today is, is the day for, for that kind of protest absolutely because there is so horrible hype in the media in the newspapers saying how marvelous she was it is very very important that those of us that feel differently speak out against it particularly today yeah yeah, all right, give me two seconds here. Yeah? It's windy out here. Let me fucking run into my house real quick. Hold on. Mm. Yeah, no worries, man. Take your time, bro. I'm surprised it's just me and you. Ain't no one else jumping on. Where's that fucking prick, Donny Rusko? Donny, don't think I didn't see you earlier, Donny, on TikTok, stirring up shit. You little shit stirrer. Jump on, man. Defend yourself. And he's like, yeah, the Muslims are trying to subjugate us. They're trying to make us submit to them. He was going on a mad one, bro. Danny. Militant Danny. Danny, did you see me in the chat? I wrote you a little message. I was like, yes, Danny. Big up, rude boy. <laughs> I knew you would hate that, innit? That's why I wrote that. <laughs> Can imagine him like, why is he speaking to me like I'm black? <laughs> oh, it's all fun and games, isn't it? Yeah, it's true. He has said worse. We know what he's like. I'm just letting him know, innit, that I, I've seen him on, um, what's his name? The True Brit on, uh, on uh, what's it called? On the TikTok. There's a few people on there, innit? Like Danny's uh, type people. It was quite interesting. We we all heard you on Ghosts Khan. Yeah, well, what's wrong with that? 
He's a Welsh geezer living in the mountains somewhere, and he's got a, he's got something to say about everything, boy. There ain't even a bus stop on your street, bro, no. and you're chatting. Oh, what's happening? I was saying I saw Donny, uh, Danny Roscoe on um, on TikTok stirring up shit. The Muslims, they're out to get us. Mm. Yeah, big up, Psycho. Taffy's having a go at me for going on thingies. Um, ghosts. Ghost yeah, thingy. I was just ghost earlier. No, man. It was just like, obviously, no, Wendy jumped on and started just being racist again. But that, it was it was all fun and games. It was all fun. Apart so from Wendy, racist, where? racist Wendy, isn't it? Where was she racist? Oh, she's like, oh, F the lot of you. You know, she was just going on a mad one. Yeah, fuck you, like racist, though. Uh, she was like, uh, well, basically, my point was English people don't mind us coming to this country as long as we don't do better than them. Like, they're basically just haters, <laughs> innit? And then she jumped on going, I've had enough of this. You're talking about foreigners coming over here and doing well. I was like, yeah, you don't mind as long as we're just delivering Tesco shopping to your door. You don't mind us then. <laughs> then we're good, innit? We're all right. Providing a service. And she's like, of course, that's what you should be doing. Little racist Wendy. Yeah, it was it was a laugh. It was fun. What's going on there, Jamie? Um nothing. What's going on with you, Edwards? Yeah, no, it's all good, man. Just jumped on to have a little chat with uh, socialist Veli. <laughs> <laughs> What's that white geezer's name, Billy? The one you keep quoting? Jeremy Corbyn. Nah, nah. The, Billy yeah, Corbyn. Uh, the wealth inequality guy. Yeah, wealth with uh, Gary Economics. I, I'm just chatting uh, to my son, yeah, one second, oh, yeah. So, so. Uh, yeah. I told you if I said, well, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, someone just texted me a joke. Go on. What should the Trilla's MMA fighting name be? Trilla? Yeah. Um, Bruce Gee. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up the man like, man like AC, you know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Um. Yeah, poor Kale, man. What's been going on with Kale? Man got roasted. All he done was jump on Dave's. Anyone to think he committed the crime? I hope he's still. Like, I hope the storm's blown over now, though. The controversy. That uh, was so funny when they said to when the scattered minds goes to him. Yeah, but why did you even jump on Dave's? He's kind of, yeah, but I heard them talking about Sharia law. Wow, <laughs> so you're I, proper on, so on. Proper, You're proper on to kill, isn't it? Like, rah. So wait, no, so but what? he's the same geezer. But James, is he not the same geezer telling me, fall back, don't chat about black issues? Like, imagine we said to Jeremy Corbyn, don't stick up for Diane Abbott because she's black. Does that make sense? Like, shouldn't we all be sticking up for what's right? It's not my fault you ain't got no decent spokesman. Oh, sorry, apart from Raven. Wait, wait, <laughs> get in there, my son. <laughs> now, Veli's all right as well. There's a couple about in it floating about. And Veli's all right. He's just not like the rest of them. <laughs> no, I mean, as a spokes, I mean, as a spokesman, you'd be good. Now, Veli, Veli's all, all abandoned that title now for like. In favor of, of what Russia. the top debate uh, uh, thing, no, rad no, radical socialism. Like, you know, before he used to be like, Oh, I like that, Bailey. He's what not him fighting, wearing his fighting Montclair and all that. I've got a pro mark, pro mark coat on there, cuz <laughs> and a peacock scarf. <laughs> Low <laughs> it. Low oh, it. And don't bust polyester. <laughs> Low that shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, walk back, come on. What are you saying? No, man, just chilling. What are you saying? Yeah, just ask stuff. I mean, what are you Elkies. saying about that? Did you just say healthy? <laughs> I said just air chilling, innit, man? Just there. <laughs> Help who? <laughs> Which part? <laughs> <laughs> they got mud. Mm. Yeah, I'm saying, what are you saying about this Bradford dude, man? Bradford dude? What, what happened? You're talking about her husband? The dude that killed the, the woman that was pushing her pusher. The skinny guy it's with the, the big th- ears looks like... I don't Imran. watch the news, guys. I don't watch the news. I get the news from you guys. I don't watch mainstream. It's breaking news on YouTube. This is some criminal... I feel like my jokes, yeah? Are being criminally underappreciated on this panel. No, 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 that joke yeah. was shit. We're no, it wasn't. Favor, trust me. I'm joking. I'm making it. I'm um, look. I've been consistent with my theme about Becca and her husband being Pakistani. You just said about the dude from Bradford. I said what her husband. That is funny, bro. Yeah, like, man needs to start fucking respecting me around there, innit? Continue mm. the conversation, but there's no in it, like. Like obviously, you true yanked the fucking dudes with the push chair and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we're taking. Oh, Becky, why is that hating on you for marrying a Muslim? I don't know, bro. Everyone hates me since I've converted, bro. Who's these lots? Isn't it? Who's these lots? Wait, who's all the black? No, I mean not you guys, obviously, but other people. Hey, hey, Becca, hey, I'm gonna say something funny. Hey, do you remember that thing I said in the group chat, Billy? Hey, no, Becca. You're going to have to stop <laughs> laughing and actually talk properly so we can understand what you're saying. Hey, well, 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 hey, Becky, hey, hey, Becky, you got, you got Insta, obviously, innit? I've got what? Sorry, sorry Sakina, even. You got Insta, I said, right? Yeah, I have Insta, yeah. Yeah, look at, hey, look at this. Watch this thing. I'm going to send you something. Oh, I'm going to put it in the side chat. Look in the side chat. Oi, Veli. James, you're listening? Yeah, go on, brother. Maddest thing I heard in my life, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. That's quite funny. I like that. I'm going to give that a like. I like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That's good. You know, how, I was listening to Maku's, yeah? You know how Maku's always like, yeah, they're my family. Oh, yeah, that geezer. Yeah, that's my cousin. Oh, this geezer. Yeah, yeah. We're family, you know. Oh, Mark Duggan. Yeah, they're my second family. <laughs> Someone mentioned Michael Adebajalo. He's going, yeah, that's my cousin. No, like, nah. yeah. This guy's lost the plot, bro. Yeah, nah. I was He's lost it. it. Michael Adebajalo. Yeah, no, nah, that's my cousin too. <laughs> I swear, Dan. <laughs> I swear to God. I was like, nah. Even if that was my real true blood cousin, I wouldn't be telling nobody. Mad. That's the most outrageous thing I've heard. Man claiming as a Bajalo. Low it, bro. Oh, hey, that's wavy. How can a man, how can a man yeah, DM some chick, yeah? And he DM'd her and he and and he DM'd her of a music video and the music videos. Now you're a single mom. <laughs> Oi, oh, hey, that's a tune. <laughs> you let him hear it raw. Now you're a single mom. He's you a let him hear it raw. He's a beast, bro. <laughs> and he made he made up his own little dance to go with it. The geese is amazing. Bro, that Genius. Is... Bro, bro. Imagine that. That is actually buzz. Like if it, if he yeah. passed, that's actually buzz. You didn't even care. You let him hear it raw. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. Yeah, now Maku, though, Maku, bro, Maku, I've opened the stream the other day. I almost died. Like, no, I love Maku, yeah, but fuck my life. He said, it's controversial, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not about controversy. <laughs> He was watching a replay of his own video, yeah? Yeah. And he's like, he's like look, Maku's here now. Maku's here now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. What, the speaker's <laughs> corner video? Wait, yeah. The speaker's corner video was him, and he joined the conversation. He goes, listen, bruvs. Listen, bruvs, okay? Listen, bruvs, yeah? Let's just organise this conversation, yeah? <laughs> he's like, he's at, he said, the Council of Nicaea, yeah, was in yeah. What, the 1300s? And there's someone from the crowd goes, <laughs> yeah. someone, from the crowd goes, 
It was in 325 AD, yeah? <laughs> Man was wrong. <laughs> by a millennium. <laughs> Yeah. And, then, and then he comes to find out, yeah. He comes to find out, yeah. He didn't, he didn't know what. I actually remember what, that bit. I actually remember that bit. Bro. And but what, you, know what's, you know what's this, you know what's disturbing about that, yeah. And like I said, big him up, yeah. But I, I, I actually appreciate that humans like this exist in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Unintentionally. <laughs> Unintentionally hilarious people, yeah. <laughs> but he thought that was like a positive clip. Like, <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't regard that as the embarrassing. <laughs> like, no, he's actually a brilliant human being, bro. That, <laughs> oh my days. Oh, hey, bro. Hey, hey, bro. Oh, hey, what am I saying? Hold on. Oh, that was funny. Oh, I know I'm I I forgetting something. One second, so. No, but he done act some dirty this weekend, man. Threw her under the bus. Well, she always takes bad up. She always gets bad up over there. Why is that? Why is, why is this different? Yeah, because she tried. At least she stood up for herself. That like, she held her ground. No, it's but t- w- w- why is today different though? I'm asking. Because she sort of stood up for herself a little bit. But like, no, no, no. I'm saying, what, what, what about the bad up? Is no, it was bad because he was going to her. Oh. You lot are racist against black people. You got names for yeah. us. Like, yeah. I mean, East Africans, like Eritreans, yeah. there, there's racist names for black people. Yeah. And then he was going, so you're actually an Arab. He starts calling her an Arab. And imagine yeah, that's, that you're that's calling... You're calling an Eritrean an Arab. Like, that's literally yeah, the worst thing you could call her. That's Shifa's tiny brain, yeah? Like, you could see what, like... No, Shifa's no, like, listen, listen, Shifa's warned you now. He said, if you carry on, he's going to start cussing your mum, your dad, and everything. So, you, you have already? been warned. He does that You're on your last legs oh, with Shifa. He said um, he's going to report you to uh, to actually to Veli now. He oh, said, yeah? yo, Veli Vision, sort oh, your boy out. No, no, no. There's it's a getting simple, serious now, James. No, no, but there's a simple now. formula behind the way in which I behave, which is, and I said it to um, what's the name? I said it to uh, uh nine, not nine, yeah, nine, yeah, sorry, nine for Lady D. When nine for Lady D, when that what's the name? So she who cannot be named, yeah. When she got moved a few times for just being irritating to me, they were like, "Oh, you can't do that because if you start doing that, then." Um, the people that come on these panels will never come back. And I was like, yeah, but the, the people who get that, receive that treatment, they are people who no one gives a shit if they return on. <laughs> like, no one cares. They're not interesting people. They don't say interesting things. Like, obviously, Pete, P- and then Nines was like, right, but I was like, but look at N- Nines has said way worse things to me, has over talked me. Like, we and her have, we regularly have arguments where she just doesn't let me speak or whatever. I was like, all right, cool, but she, nothing happens to her. Why? Because she is someone that supports the channel. So if you support yeah. the channel, you're gonna get commensurate, you're gonna get the kind of commensurate respect. If you're someone yeah. that the channel, then yeah, I mean ultimately Bro, look, do you know how supportive Nynaeve is of everyone? Like she gets yeah, a bad rap, you know. Evil. They really they do her dirty, really. Yeah, look, Jupiter is another one. Me and Jupiter got just the other day, I don't know, she's yeah, screaming at me about, something about, the, about the trans or something. It's like, yeah, all right, cool, but she knows she's not gonna get muted or put in the back. Yeah, she she she, she does channel, contribute. She does contribute. Wendy's another one. Look, Wendy's always fucking under talking me. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, Shif was just a Shif was just a donut that has no pride. And just the thing about Shif is as well, people like him. Yeah, I feel like they abuse the channel sometimes. They jump on, and we can all argue. We all do this to a degree. Yeah, but like they jump on, hijack, and then make the shit about them, ruin the conversation, and then like bounce. With, you know, when whatever they're doing in there you know, in their life, uh, fucking takes precedence. It's like, all right, cool. So then, if you're not showing the channel respect in that sense, then why should anybody try and be showing you respect? Like, you behave like a donut. Like, obviously, you're going to get treated like one, isn't it? So you are doing with Shifa now, then, are you? No, I'm not. I'm just, bro, he knows the deal, isn't it? If, if we're trying to have, like, a James serious argues conversation... argues with everybody. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, we're trying to have like, a serious who has he not argued with, with would be the question. People have started saying this is the James Jones show. <laughs> no, no, like don't it's the J- no, it's the James Jones and the Veli show. But just make sure you put my name first. Just... Wait, where was we? I was listening to someone's show, I forget who's, and then Jupiter's like, Yeah, Khan, I'm sticking the boot in. I was like, nah, you waited and waited. 
and stuck the boot in. She's like, yeah, Khan, why don't you jump on and defend yourself? I was like, no, nah, you're taking a piss. Wait till <laughs> I catch you on G Block. <laughs> <laughs> Pro, oh, I know where that was. That was from Macus. Was it? I forget which one it was. Je Jedi's or Macus, but it's like proper sticking the boot in. Yeah, Macus. Khan. That's when I was on there with Belly the other day when he was on. We're Weren't you surprised, um, Jupiter, to hear that Michael Adebajalo's uh, cousins with Maku? I was so completely surprised, you know. Like, Do you think he meant that, them, though? You'd never put them together. You'd never think that, like, based on their temperament, that they're even related. It's just shocking. I don't believe him. <laughs> I think he meant cousin as in... Well, you think he's clout chasing off of his name? <laughs> I think he meant cousin as in culturally. I don't think he meant actual cousin. Or maybe he's related to all the Michaels. Maybe all the Michaels are related. We don't know. No, I don't think it's his real cousin. If it is, well, fuck that. <laughs> not something to be proud of, is it, really? No, of course not. He's a scumbag. Yeah. A murdering scumbag at that. But that's no reflection on Maku. You can't help who your family are, can right, you? you know, we smoke, we smoke in there, love. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just about to light up a cigarette. Oh, oh yeah. You smoke boots. Oh, cheap fags. Mayfair. May yeah, no, I used to be on the old the old Mayfair King side. I was about. Oh, <laughs> you sneaky sod, James. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? That was belly. You didn't no. That was belly. That was belly. I didn't let anyone. You didn't want letting someone. I didn't do that. <laughs> no, you, do you know I used to be, I used to be on the um oh sorry Katie did you want to say something? <laughs> Was that reaction at me coming on? What do you say? Is that Kaylee? It's Kaylee on the panel. Yeah, was, that, was that reaction at me coming on? No, Jake stopped, uh, stop, is he stop gaslighting you now, Jake uh, Kaylee. Yeah, he gets so excited, Kaylee. Oh, sorry, I've got an echo two seconds, sorry. Oi, he was asking Kaylee. people if you're good looking because he he like he likes you. Oi, Kaylee, how many times have you been in the background? It was doubling up there. Sorry, sorry, what was that? How many times a day does Jake phone you? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, kind of, <laughs> what kind of a question is that? And why is it anyone's yeah. business? There's no more question. So he does phone you. No, we just WhatsApp like I do with anyone. Oh, so you've got a little WhatsApp group like me and Randy, yeah? I don't do groups. <laughs> no, I talk, no, anybody that I get to know in reality, I tend to WhatsApp. I find it's the best way because there's a lot of conversations going on. It keeps the flow and it's like a modern day talking stick. And she likes to keep a record to show it. Like no, it happens automatically. <laughs> no, no, Jupiter. That's a low happens. blow, low blow. No, it's not like, okay, right. We'll try this again. Now, um... Jupiter, I ain't tried and, nothing with you. Not the first time. I'm, never. I'm, I'm, I'm going to attempt something again. Okay, you did it again okay. this morning yourselves and Esau and Bleeding sat around. Do you remember everything that you said today? Oh yeah, I laughed at you. Yeah. No, you didn't just laugh at me. All of you did. Yeah, you? your mental case. Yeah. No, you didn't just do that, Jupiter. Do you remember? What, what else did I do? I don't want to have to cut. I don't choose it's to talk about It's only words and words are all I have to send your ass away. I can hear myself. Katie, you recorded yeah. me. Yeah, so can a lot of people, Michaela. Yeah. Ain't it, ain't it a weird, ain't it a weird um, serendipitous event that one of you is called Michaela and the other one's called Kaylee. It's like you've almost got the same name. It's weird. Oh, don't start. Don't. No, it's nowhere near the same. Wait, is any of you, is we'll any of you, are, any of, are any of you Irish? Because then <laughs> yeah. just add the mix. Are you, are you Irish, Kaylee? Yeah, I'm half Irish. Yeah, look, we can just add the mick on top of it. Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's racist. <laughs> that's got to be racist. <laughs> no, it's so sorry. Somehow. <laughs> Oh wait, Danny, was that racist, Danny? I called Kaylee. A bit. Danny or no? No, nah, it's good. You're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> no racist. Oh, Danny, what are you doing on TikTok, man? Wait, listen. <laughs> you, I know who you are now. You what, are that Billy person. Hey. Who, you got <laughs> he's, he's got, yeah. 
He's been spying on you, Danny. I no, listen, now, in the one chat, day, you know, he forgot rude boy. Danny was like, who the fuck's this N-word? <laughs> 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 oh, I didn't even say that. So I said, I did I say that? Nah, no. Nah. Uh, I was going to say. Anyway, what's going you on? You said, on. guess who I call whipping up trouble he, on TikTok. It, he wants to do it about the Muslims, yeah? So you, you represent the Muslims today. You're the mountain people today. You represent them. So go for it. <laughs> I don't know. Go Listen, for it. I'm go and support paedophilia. Come. Go. Right, innit? Yeah, but support it. Right. Support your prophet. Yeah, I do. Yeah. What do you mean? Of course. Of course. You support him, innit? Actually support him. Well, what's wrong with the prophet? What, what do you mean what's wrong with him? What, no, where I'm can we start? To the where list, can we start? According to the Forbes list, he's like one of the most influential men that's ever lived. I bet he has a lot of paedophilia in the world. No, there's, the not, there's, there's, there's no evidence for this, this accusation. What do you mean? No. There's plenty of evidence. She had a doll. No, 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 no. That doesn't prove how old you are. Well, I thought that they say, right, that you've got to be of mature mind, mature body... And past the age of menstruation. He, here's the thing, yeah. When you, uh, it's going to be boring for you, lot, because it's actually going into black proper Islam. The what they're trying to argue is they're trying to say that as soon as she came to the age of marriage, she was ready, and the prophet was was ready to marry her. Because nine. He was, he right. was I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm so gonna. Then, gonna let, play. One minute. Let me just say. Yeah, this conversation goes on and on and on and on forever. Oh, no, and... no. Yeah, see, but it's it's never going to get resolved, and you're going to continue. It can easily continuously just ignore real issues, not only that are going on in the actual world. Oh, here we go. But, no, Jupiter, what you did again today was disgusting, and okay. Empress, and I would like to address it now, please. Because you do well, it. I'm going on mute. I'll what your mind. friend did to me was me quite disgusting wait. yesterday. No, no, you but, demonic you know. whore of Babylon. You demonic fucking cunt. What you did yesterday was you disgusting. You demonic That's fucking not nice. cunt. Why are you talking? No, That's not nice. you can't be the whore of Babylon. Babylon. That's me. <laughs> There's a lot of you. There's a lot of I you. didn't know they got Babylon in South London. Yeah, that's what I was last week. Mate, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind London of Borough of Babylon. But no, should we go over what you went over and why you feel like you've got the right to go over it day in, day out, in my absence at that as well? Oh, how dare we talk like, about it? Don't you, be on YouTube yeah, then. Maybe if you're not on abuse, YouTube, people won't talk out, about you. I said this to you before. Get off YouTube, then people won't talk about you. Who are you to tell me to do anything? Who are you, though? But who are you to be telling anybody I'm, anything, Kaylee? You are nobody. Like, I am nobody. So shut the fuck up, you silly you fucking again? bitch. Are you going to do it again? You're gonna yeah, do I'm going to do it again because you just keep fucking oh, making death threats. Oh. You are the one stop making death noise. threats, not the other way around, love. Oh, You're oh, the one who has to sit there and threaten my children, too. Not the other way around, love. So suck your dusty mum, suck your dead dad, and go fuck yourself in a pig deal. Yeah, well, maybe you should control your dickhead no nonce friend. Yeah, uh, when your dickhead not. nonce friends want to call other people nonces and paedophiles, yes, no I think I'm totally within my fucking right to cuss him out. Okay, 100%. yeah, and we're within our rights to respond and defend ourselves. Oh, then go respond on your channel. We're then, defending bye. ourselves. See you next time. You've already no, responded. You've you given me death threats, which I can when, send to the police. You, so, you thank you for that, Kaylee. You've no, already you responded. Is, thank you. No, what I've you already know what you say. Thank you. What so, you, you can go is, away now. Ta ta. What you do is continuously in public. I have no other way around. No other way around. Other way around. You continuously. You continuously. You continuously do it. You continuously do it. You continuously do it. Do you want me to bring up my Facebook? Do you want me to bring up my YouTube right now? Do you want me to bring up my YouTube right now? Show everybody the community post of every single screenshot where you mentioned me and I didn't mention you for a whole entire month. Shall we do this, Kaylee? Shall we do this, Kaylee? Shall we do this, Kaylee? And by the way, who was the three actors you were accusing on Taffy? Who was the three actors? Was it what the the victim grooming girl? Was that what you was calling an actor? Or was it Kaylee? Was it was it Kaylee? Because you still haven't answered their questions, but you want everybody answer your questions though, don't you? Nah, I'm not you because you're a dickhead. I'm not you because you're a fucking friend. 
Ready? I mocked this you because your matter. fucking you friend right sat there and oh, called a, a victim, a survivor of sexual wait, abuse, wait. a fucking paedophile yesterday. Yeah, don't let her draw you out, Becky. Don't That's what you your out. friend fucking did. Your draw fucking you friend sat there and called a victim, a survivor of sexual abuse, a fucking pedo, you disgusting little vile piece of shit. How about that? How about Big that? Becca. I understand you sound about three years yeah, old. Yeah, you sound about fucking ten. Go yeah, look after your fucking kids, you fucking me. dickhead. Yeah. Go look after your kids. Carry Go find on, them. Go. Have you bought them birthday presents okay. recently? Have you bought them Christmas presents recently? I think you haven't. I think you haven't. Go look for your children. Instead of worrying about me, instead of worrying about me, go look for your children. Go look for your children. Don't get upset, Becca. I'm not upset, but she needs to go look for her kids, mate. She needs to go look for her kids. For her to sit there with fucking Jake and try to attack somebody who actually went through sexual abuse and domestic abuse and wants to sit there and throw death threats and harassment. But you want to sit there and say you'd fucking defend victims. Shut your dusty mouth because you're chatting shit, you dirty little whore. What are you doing right now? You're a troll. Helicopter, helicopter. I'm a troll. Listen about that, but we're just trying to stop Muslimic. You've got Muslimic rate guns nowadays. All right, now, so everyone's calmed down. Let me check out who else news on the panel. Yeah, you know, everyone can take a little breather in that. Yo, so, Convid. Who's Convid? He's another Hello. Convid's cool. He's cool. Hello. He's one of Katie's fans. He's another troll. What fan? Oh, so anybody, anybody that doesn't join in with your mess, right, is, is either a fan or I'm sleeping with... The, this is ridiculous. Wait, I'm I'm gonna gonna say, I was going to say, so... Wait, Kaylee, so you're vouching that my man's not going to be doing no porn bombing on that one, there? No, no, I don't think he'd do that. If it's, you know, if it's really him, though, but sometimes he does get cloned. If it's actually him, then definitely not, no. Ain't you been in the chats for a while, convict? No, he's not known for porn, doesn't stop Yo, can you speak then, bro? Yeah, I'm blocked from the chat, Veli, so it's a bit difficult him. for me. It's a bit difficult for me to actually have a voice on here, really. I don't know why you blocked yeah. me in the chat. I haven't done anything. There was a lot of confusion oh, early on, with all, especially with Cisco and everything, like everything at the beginning. It was, it was probably one of the mods. That's okay. Right. So why why is everybody why, why is everybody getting so angry here? Why don't we all just take a step back and try and be like adults for a minute instead of screaming? But, but convicts, have you been have you been following the course of events whereby your friends are calling actual survivors? They're calling them names. That, right, like, excuse me. Be... Am I allowed to exist? Right? Do, do we realise? No, you, well, you've been saying to people that... Place. Do you know who I am? What you? I've been through? Who these people are? What she's now sat with? Why they're doing oh, it to me? And who I am? Go. What I've been through? The first one. No, 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 no. We don't feel sorry for you. You don't feel sorry for us. So go suck up. We don't feel no sympathy for you. You don't feel sympathy for us. We don't feel sympathy for you. The same as with make a right, do they, Katie? Belly, Belly, can I just say something, Belly? Belly, Belly, do you think that that is really, uh, if you're going to be impartial here, do you think the way they just reacted just then is impartial, honestly? Oh. Well, I don't have to be. We I'm not like Bell. I'm, a, I'm, I'm me. <laughs> I'm asking Belly. <laughs> can be well like. You're literally Belly, asking Belly to moderate how Becky speaks. That's ridiculous. That, yeah. the, is Veli here? Is Veli here? Why do you need Veli? He might be. He he might should, be busy. If, Veli say, if Veli don't say nothing, then he's he's, he's happy what's on the channel. Well, I'm, I'm he asking if he he's here. In a helicopter. Listen, when he wasn't he was in a helicopter, he when he Stop wasn't he was in a helicopter. You know what? Have a normal you know what, conversation. Yeah? You know have what? a normal you're conversation. Trying have a conversation. You're trying to bait something, yeah. That's not Why are you shouting over everybody? I'm not, I've got a loud mic. No, he's not a Why are you everybody? shouting over everybody? We're just having a normal no, conversation. No, no, what, what are you talking, talking about? about? What do you want to talk about? Relax, relax. So what do you mean shouting? Yeah, I don't even know what you're shouting, bro. What do you want to talk about? Constantly with Jupiter, constantly around this mess, and you can't see any of what they do to me. You know me. Come on, be honest. You can't see any of what they do to me. So, is Veli here then? Is Veli here? 
I'd leave get Come your on, tongue out of Ellie's fucking like, orifice, mate. Just it's his channel. Yeah. It's channel. See all the why he's so offensive. All the masking is just the, we're all guests on his channel. You do realise that, don't you? Yeah, but we all know but, the rules, isn't it? We're not going to mess up the channel. What the, what the rules are? Shout everybody! Uh, sh the, the loudest voice wins. Yeah, they're the rules. Yeah, that's what I can see. Go and no, set up your own channel. You don't like when it. When a knobhead comes on and just let him show himself up. Look at the insults. Just because I've called it out, for, I'm, I'm saying what I see. Yeah, what have you called out? Then? Yeah, you not join in with them against. What, what I'm saying is the rules appear to be the person with the biggest voice with the loudest insults listen. wins. We no. was talking about That's Islam, ago, and then all of a sudden it got changed because it wasn't in real world or whatever. It's a never-ending bullshit no. conversation whilst everybody's like, it's, it's an important all conversation that we was having. The time. Exactly. Yes, God forbid I say That's it. A, everything, everything's a point in this. Everything's rhetoric because no one can talk nothing out. Over my children, it doesn't get addressed. They go on to do it every fucking day. They did it again this morning. They sat there accusing me of fucking lying about all of my sexual abuse. Cunt That's women sat there with fucking nonsense. So no, 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 no one actually said that, actually. So, yeah, I think you best go back and read it. No one actually said that. over her kids this morning. Hayley, you're sick. Insaw has repeatedly, and you have platformed the fucker, giving permission to himself, saying that my. Because it. Esau it's comes onto my to panel, he's got you nothing to do me. what he does to you elsewhere. Oh my god, that's a good he's point. Another actually. meltdown. So, so Jupiter, he spent five hours on the channel this morning. Yeah, I could spend five. It's hours not our channel, though. It's bleeding. So go ask bleeding if you're that worried. Well, that's yeah. my point. That's my point. She's Why are you worried about me being on the channel for five hours? What's your problem with that? Well, you don't have a problem with Esau, then, do you? Obviously. I don't have a problem with Esau, no. She swings exactly. bad wise. She swings bad wise. Why do I Does have to side with Kaylee? Hello, Arthur. Nice to hear you, mate. Hey, Convert, how you going, champion? Yeah, good. Isn't it nice when people are respectful and you don't have to like each other, but just so talk? Irritating. We know That's that. Convert. 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 You don't like it, do you? You don't like people actually on. behaving like adults, do you? And being mature. Okay. All this yeah. silly I'll argument. You, I'll tell you what, I'm going on mute until you decide what you want to talk about. That's a bit immature, isn't it? Come on, people. We're going to, do you know what? This, from what I can see of this channel, it, it's got a lot of good, you know, it's got a massive potential. There's some intelligent people here. Mm. They've got some good stuff to talk about. Convict. Why don't we Convict. just let each other talk? Convict. What do you, you think about the profit, What do you think about the profit? So we're completely changing the subject to Islam, well, yeah? What was the subject previously? I don't know. I just came on hearing everybody shouting. Really? So how do you know we're changing the subject then? Well, because well, we weren't talking about this, were we, now, what last do you 10 want minutes? To talk about? What do you want to talk about? We do know we weren't talking about this for 10 minutes. No, but what do you that. want to talk about? Because we actually were talking about this. But what do you want to well, talk look, about? When I, when, I, when I came on, we weren't talking about it. Come on, be honest. Danny, That's a bit silly, I, can't, I can't deal with these type of people, bro. Yeah, I exactly. Know. Because I can't, I can't what, what do you want to convict? Convict, convict. What do you want to talk about? I tell you what I want to talk about. You will respond. What I want to talk about. Why don't? This is what I want to talk about, right? Why don't we use this platform? We've got an amazing potential here on YouTube to make real progress. We've got to let each other talk. That's what I want to talk about. Why do we want us to shout every show? We're not, we're not going to go anywhere. We're going to be here for hours. So why don't we just relax and give each other an opportunity? We might not like each other, but for fuck's sake, let's just give each other a chance. All this constant shouting over each other. What's the point? We was before the conversation, before the conversation changed, we was having a civil conversation about the Prophet Muhammad. And yeah. his influence in society. That's actually what we was doing. So if you want to come onto the channel, onto the channel that, that you deem is a good channel anyway, to have the conversations, then you can come into that conversation. But it got changed yeah, from that. that. And that's when, that and that's when the argument started. Wait, wait, that's when the argument that started. That true. When I started you're, listening, you're saying, that, you're that literally saying, happening. let people speak whilst interrupting me. Well, I got, so, you're gonna, so you're telling me from now on there's going to be no interrupting? 
you're saying to me you're advocating something that you're not adhering to. So, so from now on, then, not... it's all going to be no interrupting. That, that's what you're attempting to say to me. I don't believe Sorry, that. We're going to let you talk. I was... I keep repeating the same thing. Exactly. I'm on mute. The floor is yours. I think YouTube is totally being abused. We've got a great, great, beautiful opportunity. People from all backgrounds, different intellectual capabilities, different experiences emotionally. Let's just respect each other. We don't have to like each other. We might hate each other with a passion. But this is a wonderful opportunity. Go ahead of getting on and having some sort of social cohesion there is no code of conduct if we don't follow something okay and the law and just morals is generally a good starting point now what's the point in having conversations with people that will just go and be abusive on one panel and to the levels that these wankers do and then it's just ignored over there somewhere else and they don't care about this yeah, you can't expect us all to know kaylee you can't expect us all to keep up with what goes on on other channels. Well, I don't expect everyone to keep up, but when they come over here and pretend like it's not going on, I'm going to fucking call it out. Listen, what happens How about in this Vegas? Then? How about we Vegas? all try again from now? How about that? Why don't we all just How about try? We allow people to reply the nutty bitch. I'm just saying, why don't we just try from now well, on? Do you mind if I reply? Do you mind if I reply? Please. Sure, go ahead. Me and Becca had a conversation. We don't deny it, but we certainly didn't nonce over her children. And we neither well, called her a liar. You see, so, so, so what that she is, hears, how many times I said, say is I thought, I thought things. we weren't going to be interrupting. I thought yeah, we yeah, weren't going to be interrupting. So, so Katie can say what she likes, but when Julia wants to invade her side, she can get interrupted, yeah? them you join them you join See? so you it's, it's okay to interrupt jupiter though but if we interrupt kaylee it's an issue My is that what's going on right now and i'm never you you let jupiter finish what she was saying though you had your say you had your say and she's rebutting what you're saying so let her have her say one at a time come on one at a time just Why take deep breath tell kaylee that just a minute ago then when she well, we're doing in. it let's do it then we've let's been do it. dealt with kaylee for years Kaylee's well, version of reality is not, not actually not what happened. Me. And unfortunately and for Kaylee, nonsense. all of us on this channel will what speak to people that other people Again, don't Again, she's like. interrupted. Again, well, she's Babs interrupted. Is Babs is doing it as well. Come on, be fair. Well, Babs is doing well. it as well. You've got to be fair. You're not standing on any of your words. Exactly. Right? You're not standing on shit. You're, you're not telling not us about fucking interrupting, you. but you're not pulling up your friend. Well, you just done it. He just done it. Well, yeah, I interrupted so because she it? was interrupting Jupiter because <laughs> Jupiter was trying to explain something. So, so if you're not going so to hold her up, I'll hold her up. Let's Over. start again from now. Go on, go on, Jupiter, go on. You don't go want to address any of your interests. You want to pretend you know how you're going to save the world by talking about Prophet Muhammad from fuck knows how long ago. Me and <laughs> Becca have a right to talk to who we like about what we like. Yeah. We have that right. Everybody else on this panel will speak to people that not everybody else likes. You can't determine where and when other people go just because somebody's got mental illness. So I've got an idea. Is it possible that if we, if we know that people are going to trigger us, if we know people are going to upset us, we just don't go on the panels when they're there? How about that? How about, 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 about well, considering me and Jupiter was on the panel before Kaylee came up here? Maybe you need to tell her that we upset her this. that much, but she follows us. But she follows us all over YouTube. But we upset her that much that she follows yeah, us. Exactly, Becca. She's the troll. How about she you go on the panel and you're on panel and you can do all that and then leave the other panels to the other people and let them want to do what they want to do on their channels. Because to be fair, if you're going to have a debate and there's a bit of argy-bargy on it, it's fine. Me and Khan have argy-bargy. Me and, me and uh, James have argy-bargy all the time. But it don't mean that we, 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 we can't speak to each other. But people who want to come onto our panel and just constantly like shout, shout, shout and not want to have a conversation apart from a slaggy match, then that could be on your channel. But does that make sense to everybody? I think if you look at the chat, the chat's quite bored. Look at the side yeah. chat. No, Mark's on the panel. Mark's look at the side chat. The chat. Bored. The chat. So they're not coming you, on the panel. So what, 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 what? You haven't told us anything. But they're here to listen. We all they're here to listen. So I couldn't hear what you said, mate. Can you start again? I couldn't hear what you said. 
the, the side chat are here to listen to opinions and listen to debates and topics and conversations. They're not really here to, 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 to listen to how a channel should be run, what should be done, blah, blah, especially when it's not the channel owner. So do they enjoy then everyone interrupting and shouting over each other? Is that what you're saying? They enjoy the drama? How much does he consistently get? How many, how many, how many, how many people does he consistently get? Then you can decide from that. Compared so I don't to know what that means. I don't, I don't get your point. Don't worry Sorry. about it then. Don't worry about it. Put yourself on mute and listen to the show. Listen, all I'm saying is, why are we always fighting? Why are we always shouting and screaming? Why don't we just try and understand that if we don't get on with people, all it's going to be is anger and pain and threats. You and just come on to this. Listen, you just, come on to, you, you just come on to this in the middle of a different conversation, trying to change a conversation. And when we took it back to the it original wasn't. one, you're saying, oh, blah, blah, blah. You're, try, you're trying to... You, what it is, is, is there's, you, you're coming on to try and do a freeway, um, you know, defence, right? That's what, you, that's what that's what you was doing. You've come in... Well, change, I can tell you what I'm going to do if you ask me. If you ask me, I can tell you. you rather you floor. tell me. You had the floor and you just... But you're telling me what thing. I did. I, but you're telling me you know what I'm doing. I can tell you if you ask me. Well, go on, then. Oh, well, right. it makes no I difference. Came on. Well, I came on because all I could hear was screaming and shouting and threats. From who? And whoever. There was From no who? people. It, see, you're constantly trying to just blame one person, and that's ridiculous. Everybody was shouting and screaming, right? So all I'm no, saying no. is... We were having a conversation. Okay. Kaylee come on and made it about Kaylee. All right. Nobody was like shouting and screaming. Does. Nobody was shouting and screaming. Oh, do you know what? I know Nobody's exactly who was The same people are on, on here now. The same people are on here now, okay, apart from a couple of people, right, and there's no screaming or shouting. So why are you well, talking Becca to the people screaming here who shouting, are not? If you want the name, she's not that, was the, that, she, that was the first she's not yeah, I was screaming and shouting because your friend right. wants to keep Thank making you. death threats towards me. That's why so I was admit you Like were... I said before, Thank if you. you want to resolve the issue, maybe go help Kaylee. Don't come over here. It's your Kaylee, your friend Kaylee that's doing the trouble, not the other way yeah. around. Go and keep her. I've never met her. her I've, never met, I've never met her. Why well, are you assuming I'm, I'm not on being funny, but you should have listened to what went on yesterday, yeah? Her and her friend, yeah, were saying, because we don't believe in Hampstead, yeah, that we're all paedophile um, protectors. All our families are involved in paedophile stuff and stuff like that. That's what we, we, we're having to put up with from Katie and from Jake daily. Well, Bab. Um, today, I was talking to Jupiter on a channel about this, if you're opposed, and I if was you're saying, opposed to Hampstead SRA case, you're in on the game. So I was saying, Babs, Babs, today I was talking on, to, to Jupiter on another channel about what you've just said, and I yeah. was suggesting that Jake is mentally ill. Oh, yeah, oh, we've been saying that for months, mate. And we've we would agree with you. Months. And that's all we've ever said, Convid. All we've ever said is Jake and Kaylee need help. And we mean that in the nicest possible way. Well, I was talking about Jake. Yeah, well, we it say doesn't both. Always, yeah, well, It doesn't always have to be about Kaylee. Like, well, everything doesn't have to be about her. I'm I'm just replying to Babs. I'm yeah, just we trying think to Jake reply. and Kaylee both need help, though, and they're in it together. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know how close they are. I don't know if they've met each other, have they? Oh, conflict. Conflict. Do you know... Um, <laughs> do I need help? Do you know Kaylee in real life? So, when you just said conflict, was that sort of a dig no, or something? Flit. I don't, I don't get Conflict. Oh, flit. conflict. So why? Why, why be so negative? Because you're a flit. Okay. Uh, the thing is, convict, yeah. Hey, look, you're, she's you're, you're again, you're here. dead. Who's dead? Let's Kayleigh. see, making death threats again. Let's yeah, see. see. <laughs> look at what she's doing, convict. Look at what but I'm she's talking doing. to you, Dad. And all I'm of us to you. have to put up with it. And it's getting boring. Well, what did I say, Bab? What did I say five minutes ago was my suggestion? Yeah, that you were talking to Jupiter about Jake and he needs no. help. But now, what did I suggest as the solution? 
Yeah, I know, but like... Yeah, but to be fair, none of us care what you think anyway, to be fair. I was going to yeah, say, who's any, this guy anyway, with a strange anyway, name that's come here on just to take over? I'm giving sorry, him 10 sorry, seconds Wendy. to say something here, interesting. I was here just to do something with Khan, but I'm, I'm gone anyway. Well, I'm, this uh, is a bit... I'm not surprised. Yeah, it's my time. My time. Not... Yeah, my... We yeah, we'll do. my time's a bit like uh, right, important. Mate. Then just crack on, mate. Don't worry. Don't worry. What, what are you going to be doing, Danny? Though, huh? when you get off YouTube, what are you going to be doing, Danny? 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 What what was this guy like ruining the is that yeah ruining he's... the vibes bro which Even guy Danny's Com- leave him because who's of the guy who's the guy Con- Flid. Flid, yeah the flid uh cool hey, is that, is that really? him, james just get rid of him no but when oh, i was that's not valley then is it no yeah. so it's so not the 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 hey, so hold on, hold on. are you are you telling me for like the past half an hour it's been the same topic of you criticizing how the panel no goes? there ain't been no topic yes. there's yeah, not yeah, been yeah. a topic he won't let us speak <laughs> Yeah, all right. Just wow. Like, you know what is, mate? Just chill out for a bit, innit? Yeah, that's how it works on this channel, is it? There but, we go. Yeah. Here we go. Who he thinks he's fucking communist Russia around here, man? <laughs> Wait, but why he's Joker, hey, why? isn't he? What is going on with Kaylee and um, Becca? Like, that was intense, bro. <laughs> bro, you best go get your girlfriend, bro. She needs to, oh, no, you need to wife it up or something, bro. You reckon? Yeah, bro. Yeah, she's I, obviously Kaylee, twitching. I... I'll take she care keeps of. making death threats and it's out of order. We've yeah, she keeps warned. making fre- death threats towards me. She's done it more than one time in the side chat already, James. Yeah, and it's not funny. Anyway, it's let's, let's spice it, it up. Who's voting Labour? Who's voting Labour? No one. No one. So how are they going to win the election if no one's voting for them? Fuck <laughs> Labour, fuck Conservative, fuck every single nope. one of them. I don't Who understand how they're, you know how they're going to win it. I'll tell you how they're going to win it. I don't know how to tell you how they're going to win it. Because your party, your people who don't like who like to vote for the family, they'll do a lot of postal votes and they'll be postal voting for, for Labour. Yeah, exactly. You the man will vote for the wife. That's what it is, isn't it? The wife can't go out and vote. Mm. So it's a double double vote, or maybe a triple vote if the sons are there. So imagine you've got one of these houses with eight people in it, and, and, and the husband sons. is responsible for voting for them all. Did you say the sons, yeah. <laughs> huh? Wait, when you say the sons, you mean black people, yeah? No, no, I'm, I'm on about like most of the sun people. You said the sons. The sons. Yeah, son. you mean- yeah, like the, no, you the black people, wouldn't it? No, no, the sons, like no, the not sons, male, not, not the daughters. Sons. Oh, the paper, sorry, the progeny, sorry. the progeny. No, 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 like the people, not daughters. If you if you got a male and it's not a daughter, what is it? Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. Right. The son. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's because everyone's yeah. going to. Okay, right. He's bringing a new meaning to the word block vote. That's what he's going to be. Look, look at Galloway. Look at Rochdale. What happened? How did Galloway get in? He got in on the postal vote. But he's not Labour though. No, but people are going to watch that and say, ah, oh, we can no, do it Dan, this Dan, way. Dan, it in America. My point, my yeah, point is this, Dan. With this whole Israel thing going on, none of the Muslims are going to vote for Labour. No, it's yeah, it's true. Um, that is true. 33% of um, Muslims. So how's Labour getting in then? 33% of Muslims. Well, I said, well, I said that, think that it didn't happen on October the 7th, don't they, Khan? Yeah. Sorry, what? When We're talking about UK again. elections. Like, it's going to affect it. us. It's important, and it's something that Danny knows about. So I just wanted to talk about no, that. No, I, I said that Labour w- wouldn't get in anyway, right? Because of all the split votings. I said that ages ago, and very. But ain't they? Pre- pre- they one more question, Danny. Ain't they predicting but, but, but wait. to win? Huh? Ain't the prediction that they're going to get in? Landslide I would. Say, I would say Tories will get in on a correlation with reform. But that's Suella what, was that's, saying that's that that's there not going to happen. Yeah, but that's what it's designed for. Reform is designed to take away the the people who don't want to vote for conservative, but still make it conservative. If there is a a a uh, you know a whatever it's called, a so coalition. Not coalition. You say that, Everyone Danny. who don't want to vote for conservative is going to vote for reform, and then conservative and reform is going to join coalition together. They're the same beast. He just needs he just needs enough. Be right, just... If that happens, they'll be rioting in the streets, mate. Why? 
Ask, the, ask, saying, ask right wingers, the they will think that reform is good. People don't want to vote are going to vote for reform because they don't There's want conservative. Reform is shooting up in the polls. So Wait, look, right, look, at, look, look at my Twitter. I'm always going after the reformists, the people who claim that they're conservatives, going over to reform. Yeah. They, they, they're getting thousands and thousands every week. Don't don't worry about these independent, you know, the independent people pro Gaza and that. Is the that one you need to worry about is reform because it's yeah, because, because it's it. Tory in another yeah. name. That's all it is. Look at what he's look at what Richard Tice is there for. Richard Tice is going to get rid of the pension fund to nationalise everything. Gold, turn it down. Right? He's going to not do nothing with the immigration. He's going to allow the same in immigration, but have outposts in France so it can come through quicker. This is what reforms are. They're, they're a joke of a party, but somehow all the conservatives think that is a new party. Yeah, and I'll and reform. all the things with Jeremy Corbyn at the moment, and I said this to Veli so many times, he's going to come back with momentum, and it's going to be pro Gaza, and it's going to have all the big mm. ones. It's going to have Angela Rayner in. It's going to have Lisa Nandy. It's going to have Toby, um, Angela's boyfriend. It's going to have all these people in there. And it's going to be a beast of a of a party on the left. What like a socialist party? Labor. Yeah, and I think if, if if Jeremy Corbyn starts momentum socialist, a true socialist party, I think they would win. I think you know, mm. what landlord? Like, you think they're going to win that outright? Outright, I would hundred percent because they'll get all the Muslim yeah, votes. They'll get well, all the guys to vote. They'll get the Palestine votes. Yeah, Jeremy Corbyn on his own will get. You'd have Diane Abbott, no doubt. No you'd have Diane Abbott, you'd have Lisa Nandy, you'd have Angela Rayner, you'd have all these people who gain huge bits of support in socialist circles, and that will be enough over the Conservative vote, which will be protested some way. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you are right. So if Corbyn does come out with a momentum party, it's all fucked. Trust mm. me. It's all over. How long have they got to come out with these parties? You know. Yeah, when will we know by? Well, it's only when, when Rick, and this is another reason Richard Sunak's not saying when he's going to do it because when he does it, that's when you can start really, you know, applying for all your stuff. You know, right. you can pull it out now. You can pull it out now if you wanted to, but it's kind of if you wanted to make the shock factor. Yeah, they've got, they got to time it. They've got to time. They know because they've got the and you've got to remember as well. They've got the unions. Jeremy Corbyn, the unions. Yeah. Love Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah. yeah. So if he says, as soon as it's out, use lot ballot your people, and he's already got all the stuff ready just to go out, all the, he's got all the email list, everything. As soon as it's done, the first day, bang, can blitz it. And then that's all he needs to do. Because the left wing, Labour, wants socialism in, in the government, and they know that, that um, oh. Keir Starmer doesn't represent that. I know, I know you're, you're making it sound like it will be horrible, but I'm not, I'm not being funny from a Muslim point of view. That would be the greatest day of my Muslim life. Point of view. Uh, how would I'll be walking you? through the streets how? going, I'm so proud to be British. How? You're an idiot. Uh, how, though? Uh, how? What would you do you for the Muslims? You people legend. are going to get a shock. You know what he's going to yeah. do when it comes to Israel? He's going to stop their they arms. They paint themselves as the least racist party. But no, wait, let, 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 let me say, let me say, let me say. They'll, they'll, they'll disarm they'll Israel. Stop, they'll stop sending weapons to Israel for a start. And what will that do to the UK? It will, it will make us join together as a country under ethics and morals that everyone agrees with, which is not having a genocide on our hands. With who? I don't. I don't care if they sell. If they, if the UK sell weapons to Israel, that's fine because it's money coming into the UK. Sell more. Have more wars. If it's going to make the UK economy bigger, no. But it's unethical if they're using it to kill innocent people. But it's not us selling it. It's not us dropping it. We're just selling it. It's like, it's like know, a drug dealer. It's like a drug dealer. You have a degree of responsibility. But what about the drug dealer who's got that responsibility in his own yeah. area that no one speaks about? He's selling crap brown and heroin uh, and weed and everything to the people, to the single mothers and everything like that, right? But they still that walk around saying... and no one says nothing. No, what do you mean no one says nothing? Well, if I, I knew someone was dealing heroin on my street, I'd make a phone call within yeah. two seconds. On your street, though? Yeah. What about well, in your area? I only know what's going on on my street. Yeah, but what about your area from when you walk yeah, from your house to the mean? shop? I got no sympathy for fucking drugs. We'll say that on the live. You'll get it done over tonight. No, no, no. no, no but but here. There, ain't no there ain't no heroin on my street. Just me. Yeah, your street, maybe. But what I'm saying is from when How you walk you know to that? your house... That's a stupid statement. From the shop, to be from your house to the shop, is your community. Yeah, that should be your community. 
So there are people dealing heroin, crack, coke, weed, everything in that area. And there's a lot of people who know people who will be doing that, right? But nobody really says anything in a, in a general setting. Nobody will say nothing because it's not them get, telling my it. My neighbour got raped about five years ago. My neighbour got raided for selling weed and no one's ever sold drugs around my way ever again because there's, there's a lot of grasses around here. You can't, you can't do nothing yet. like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hans does that. I didn't tell. I'm not saying that. I'm just Sorry. saying I've got no sympathy for these drug dealers that are ruining people's lives. Same as arms dealers. I ain't got no sympathy for them. You've got to be responsible for what you're doing, isn't it? I shouldn't have right. got many cool. arms dealers in your street, Khan. What about, what about, what about, any, what other thing? How else would it make, um, you as a Muslim in the UK. No, I'm uh, just not agreeing with your Labour sentiment government. that selling arms is like scot free. Like you could just sell arms and then whoever buys them, they can do what they want with them. Like that's ridiculous. Well, surely that's what it is, though. That's right, the cool. way the world has always what been. About McDonald's? Do you go on? Do you go and petition McDonald's? Because what they're yeah. selling to the children, what they're selling to the I, children I, I, is accidentally, filth. I, I, I was with my mate today, and he goes, oh, "I want a McDonald's," and we went in there. He goes, "Do you want anything?" I said, "No, I'm boycotting McDonald's." And he still got me a latte. I'm not going to lie, I drank it. Right? No, no, but, but that you, that's it. I'm not. I'm not boycotting them. I'm still boycotting them. Don't worry about boycotting them because of Israel and that. You've got to boycott them because of the food standards is is substandard. Right? No, yeah. How is it list. substandard? How is it? Well, look at the ingredients list. You, 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 you say that you're a nutritionist, so you should yeah. know what goes in them burgers. Yeah, but it's not substandard. Oh, what is it? What you think is acceptable? Please, yeah, with, within, with, within, um, if you at McDonald's like once a month, what you're supposed to right, do harm on. your health. All right. Oh my because god. Because people eating it every day. Because yeah, it doesn't high... mean it's good for them, though, does it? No, because it's got high salt and um, high sugar and high fat. Right. So you, so you can eat it. Right, right. Yeah, so okay. it, it, processed food obviously is not good for you, but if you have it once in a while, it's not it's not bad for you. Okay. You're not supposed to be living on it. That's the point. All right, let's see what's really in McDonald's burgers. I don't it? look to be honest, you see what the whole McDonald's right. thing. One minute, Danny. With the whole McDonald's thing, yeah, I don't think it's just one guy sitting in an office somewhere that owns all the McDonald's and he's guilty for supplying uh, Happy Meals to IDF soldiers. I think it was a, a specific franchise. What about Israel? It was a specific franchise of... Hang of on, um, hang on. It, what, are you it getting all specific upset because McDonald's feed the it's, it's a specific IDF franchise. soldiers? It's a specific franchise... And I think McDonald's offered to buy those uh, those those uh, restaurants back off of uh, oh off my of uh, God. Off yeah of, they, uh, yeah they bought it back yeah they bought them back because they, they had to in it they bought it, they bought it back off of off of the franchise yeah. people or, or, or for whatever because people wanted to ruin the business um, you know people were like oh let's not do this but anyway um, I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is you're saying that people are responsible for selling the arms they are responsible ultimately for where the arms are going. And I'm trying to say, well, on other levels, you don't have that same principles. Why you're, not don't having I, it, why don't you're not having it on the filth at McDonald's or Burger King. You don't go outside as the Tesco's, Audi, any of this, who say, don't, who, who don't, sell don't. a lot of food, a you lot of food that are bad day, for yeah. your health. So what you about down. the people who, who are selling day, crickets you, and listen, other bugs? Honey, as a, listen, listen. With McDonald's and that, yeah, and all this junk food, right, the reason why, I don't know if you've noticed, but they write the amount of calories and the calorie breakdown on it is because they're giving you the information for you to make an informed decision, right? So the, it becomes your responsibility, right? They're not hiding the fact that they're putting butter in the, in or like exactly whatever in the food. Exactly Danny's point. Well done. Can I just not have a conversation if he sells without you, if, yeah, but if he sells you a gun... Yeah. If he sells you a gun, it's your responsibility how you use it, just like the food. No, it's not. If you're selling arms, you're, exactly. you are responsible. You are responsible for what that person does with it, right? And so if you're if selling food, your, you're responsible for the kids that are eating it. Die, yep, exactly. You don't understand what I'm saying. You're not getting it. But what can I do? Sorry, can't go. It. Sorry, can't go and do it. Sorry, can't go. And what do I'm it. saying is, in America, there was a case where the geezer sued McDonald's. He said McDonald's made me fat. Right? They've cost me money in healthcare and whatnot. 
And he sued them, like successfully sued them. So from that day, what they've done is to, to, to stop themselves being sued by anyone, they put, like the same way when you go and buy fags, it writes on the packet, smoking kills. McDonald's have put, there's this much calories in what you're buying, right? So you can't now blame McDonald's for making you fat because it's your decision to go and buy it. Same way McDonald's puts uh, salads and that on the menu because they're saying that if you end up in McDonald's, right, let's say through no fault of your own, right, like I did today, you can have something with low calories in it. You don't have to have something that is going to harm you. You can have a salad, right? So Before, what you're saying, Carl, have, should we put a trigger warning on the gun? have a salad on the menu. <laughs> But isn't that the same? Isn't that the same with guns? No. Well, how how is how, it? How how is it not the same? It's not the same because when you sell someone guns, that you're selling it to them so they could defend their country. But if they then take them same guns for self defence and start murdering innocent women and children, and your own population are turning against you for doing that, then they're going to hold you responsible. Uh. You don't get it, Han, do you? You, you don't, you're not getting what Danny is trying to say. Let me just say it a different way. Let me just say it a different way. Let me just say it a different way. Let me just say something. Let me just say one thing. one thing. Let me just say one All thing right. and I'm going to finish. Do you not agree that if Jeremy Corbyn was running his country, that he would stop arms sales to, to Israel? No. You don't think he would? No. Definitely not. Why he's a war he's a warmonger and there's a lot of people in the industrial military complex who make a lot of money off of arms sales to Israel and to you know the Saudis and to you know other Middle Eastern countries. So of course not. Um, but can I just say one thing then? Okay, uh, we're going on about about responsibilities to the the person could, because McDonald's has a has a list of of the calorific um, yeah, stuff in their burgers and stuff, right? Yeah, so do. on a, on McDonald's fries, the French fries, yeah, that, that's yeah. potatoes. How many ingredients should it have? Uh, a chip, because it's just a, a chipped potato. I, I don't know. I don't see the relevance of that. Right. It, there, there is ten ingredients. Okay. Yeah. In a, a, a chip potato. Right. Yeah. Therefore, okay, there's mm. dextrose in it, there's sodium, acid, right. pyrose, phosphate, right? right? These things are in the in the chips that are not good for you. So McDonald's, although they're saying the calorific content, they're not actually saying, well, actually, our chips, which are made of potato, which should only have one ingredient in there, which would be, you know, whatever a potato's ingredients is, right? But it's not. It's got all these added stuff into it. And and they're not the responsibility in McDonald's is not doing it, but they realise that people can look into this, right? Mm. So it's my responsibility if I'm going to go and eat it. The same way as when I'm selling a gun or a big bomb to to Israel, I'm going to say this bomb's going to hurt people, right? You must look into it. Yes, yes, cool. I still want to buy it. All right, and fine. It's not my responsibility now. I've warned them it's going to hurt people. It's down to you what you do. I'll give you an. Um, uh, like we're having a conversation in it, like, so I'll make it a little bit more like interesting. Turkey this week has opted out of an uh, arms agreement that it has with Europe that it's had since the end of the Cold War, right? So the reason why Turkey's doing that is because Europe, being its partner, like in NATO, is supposed to be providing Turkey with arms to fight the terrorists that it has, right? But they're not doing that because they say, no, nah, we need those terrorists to go and fight ISIS or whoever, right? Okay. So Turkey's saying, but wait a minute, like these people like over the last couple of years killed like 40,000 of our citizens, right? They're bombing us from over the border. We need weapons to fight them. According to our contracts with Europe, we can only buy weapons from Europe. And Europe are like, well, sorry, but we need these geezers to fight... Um, which terrorists are you talking wars, about, Khan? Um, prescribed terror groups like the PKK, YPG like group. the Kurds? Well, not the Kurds, because there's lots of different Kurds, right? Uh -huh. So if you know yeah, about, I thought, I thought you know about I Kurds, there's loads, there's loads of different Kurdish groups. Like the PKK is just one particular group. You think the YPG is a, a terrorist group? Well, the, no. the people who, who single-handedly stop YPG. ISIS from hitting Europe? He's a prescribed group, like it's prescribed in America, in England, and in Turkey. Who the YPG? Uh, no, the PKK YPG. Oh, no, oh. The PKK is the, the YPG is different, though. 
Half of Turkey are Kurds. How are they slaughtering Kurds? Yeah, I know how you is, feel about the Kurds. My point yeah, we've that, heard you before. You don't like yeah. Kurds. <laughs> my point is that you don't even when, deny when they look. sell them, when they yeah. sell Turkey arms, they sell Turkey arms to fight Russia, to keep Russia um, out of Europe, right? Now, if Turkey wants to take those same arms and do what it wants to do with them, immediately Germany's like, no, nah, we're not going to help you do that. Right, so why don't they do the same thing with Israel? Well, because Turkey's not Israel, so exactly. So, what I'm saying is, Germany say, No, we're not going to let you go and um, uh, go into Syria and um, disrupt our plans there with weapons that we're selling you because we're technically shooting ourselves in the foot, literally. Pardon the pun. Oh, right? yeah, are Turkey part of the EU yet? No. Yeah, but that's only if you go and buy arms and you don't know what you're buying. Most people who go to no, buy I'm arms saying, know very when well. When they that sell them the arms, them. they sell them with an intention. They're like, Yeah, you can use them to fight these be... people, but you can't use them to fight the other people. Right? It's simple as that. And Germany's even put kill switches in their weaponry that if you try to use it without their permission, they'll switch it off. Well, how do all, you know this, all, Mark? Where do you get this all, sensitive information all, from? Can I just not speak? <laughs> Because it's all ca it's all controlled by satellite. The the oh weapons that you God. buy is patched, so into, therefore, is patched so into their internet. So therefore, okay, what you're saying is whoever sells the weapon is doing the proxy war then because I you know, the UK should be able to turn off a bomb that is leaving Israel towards Palestine. Yeah, and, no guns, and guns, yeah, they no. can turn them off. You can't get the technology. I'm like saying that. if Jeremy Corbyn wanted to get voted <laughs> in and, and, and he said, I'll immediately stop arms sales to Israel, all the Muslims would vote for him immediately. But he wouldn't uh, say about he wouldn't say about Brexit, would he? What reversing Brexit? Yeah, he wouldn't say it. It's an easy Why, win I'm for not him. sure about that. It's an, it's an easy win for him to say I would reverse Brexit back here, yeah? but he didn't say that because he didn't really believe it. Right. If he said he supports Hammer, he supports Hammer. I don't know. I he don't supports, know what the public opinion is on that. Okay. I don't he know what the people feel about that. Okay. What is that? What's going on? He's got popcorn. Not me. Cassie. It's like guy in the Arthur, middle. he's playing ping pong in the background. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> is he really? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It is all. Anyway, right? Jeremy Jeremy <laughs> Corbyn <laughs> is um supporting Hamas, so at least he's gonna he's gonna sell to Hamas, isn't he? There ain't no more Hamas left, mate. They're all dead. They're all dead. There's no more Hamas left. Oh, are they all in Qatar? Are they, are they all I... in Qatar then? Oh, are we killing? Are we now killing? Wait, 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 wait. Are we now killing Palestinians? Are we now? Are we now actively killing Palestinians? Yeah, obviously. So okay, how many so Hamas were acting... there, Khan? What do you mean? If they've if they've said for every uh, one one Hamas, no, how many? How kill, many people belong to, to Hamas? How but many? You can work it out, isn't it? If you if you could, if you've got maths, right. they're saying for every one. Hamas, they're prepared to kill 20 Palestinians. So if there's 30,000 Palestinians dead, then there must be at least 100,000 Hamas. Right, so oh, You just make Hamas it up as you go like, along. Uh, you really died, do. What do you mean? How come, right, what about this card there? Yeah? Right? To stop this war overnight, okay, to make put, put, put pressure onto Israel, why don't Hamas, because now they're not in charge, there's no one there, why don't they release the Israeli hostage? There's a thousand of them. So why don't they just release yeah. them and they, then say, they, right, they we release... They well, today, didn't they? Hamas? Yeah, but they say, but they say yeah. we've released all your hostages, Israel, yeah. now you yeah. cannot come and kill us. Because the only reason yeah. that they're doing it is because they no, want the, a thousand that's hostages. Exactly, you've said this before, Danny, and that's exactly what they're saying. They're saying, if you call a permanent ceasefire, right, we'll release all the hostages. But they're saying, no, no, no. Nah, We'll give they you a temporary ceasefire so you can release the hostages, but then we're going to carry on back to the war again. No, that's but, not true. But then, but, but then, but then, okay, you'd be on a moral, you'll be on the moral high ground there because there'll be no hostages, so there'd be no reason for Israel to to continue the war. The only reason that it's given at the moment is because you still got Israeli hostages, which is a just, uh, it's just you've got Israeli people held as hostages and they want them back. So they'll be prepared to kill as many people as they as they want, and Hamas is a prepared for that killing to happen. 
See, that's no, what you got to no. remember as well. I'm they not are Hamas. just as culpable. I've not looked into their policies or what they think and whatever. I'm not on the side of Hamas. What I'm saying is, there's no they, like if you're realistic about it, they're saying there's no two state solution happening here. So that means that those people, right, they're going to get gone. They're either going to put them on boats, ship them out, push them over the border into Israel, ship them off to Jordan, or kill them all. But there will be no two-state solution. Now, if there's any Why? Palestinians Why? left... Wait, wait. If there's any Palestinians left, even enough to fucking fill a fucking ice cream van, yeah, that's still a state. That's still them hang hanging on. And Israel yeah, saying no. Is there, Israel say no to that. They're not going to stop until all those people are gone. So well, Hamas shouldn't have attacked the them back, then, back, should they? Listen, even exactly if they gave the hostages back... Point. They can't yeah. stop fighting them now. They can't stop fighting them now. Hamas shouldn't have attacked them. It's as simple as that. I'm not yeah. justifying yes. anyone's position. I'm just saying that Israel said there's no two-state solution happening here. So that means that they have um, to get Israel, rid of... Israel, I do believe that IDF um, pulled out three units today of the soldiers. Yeah, they've run out of people to kill. What? Well, surely that would be good because the war will be finishing soon anyway. Well, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's, there's never going to be no two-state solution. Wait, there's never going to be no two-state solution, especially now that the, the America are building a port in Gaza. Well, that's the worst thing anyone could ever have done because now there's 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 something for America to to have on that, right? Or on that bit of um, you know, shipping lanes or whatever you want to call it, and then all the oil and whatever. So there's never going to be no two-state solution in Gaza anymore. It's, it's, unfortunately, it's going to be one of these things. Now, a solution could be that there's a guy called Zelensky who has killed all his men, all the young men of his country. Um, so maybe Palestinians can go there and start, you know, in, in, it's a breadbasket of Europe. It's one of the most profitable places in the world. But as it stands here, there can't be, how can, there can't be no two-state solution because nobody wants it who, who are actually there. Exactly. Explain that again. Nobody wants a two-state solution. You're saying no. So Nobody wants. Gonna, like, it's Israel just going to carry Israel, on until there's exactly. no Palestinians left, then, isn't it? Or no Israel left. Exactly. Someone. Well, someone. You said there ain't none left, left anyway. Yeah. You. Yeah. You just said there's no more people left to kill. Yeah. That's, that's so, the way it's going. Like, what do you think's happening right now? But this is, this is the thing. Have... If, if they didn't go over on 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 October the seventh, now nobody yeah. really understands why they did it was it a rogue um, military unit or was it was it done nobody actually understands why that happened because it's quite significant right but had they not done that then they would still be in this kind of conflict of occupier and oppressor or whatever it is right they'll still be in that but it stepped up the the level where they exactly. can't do it anymore because you can't trust your neighbor not to go and do it again so what what's the solution? You can't Israel don't want them to be to be um as a as a as a state. You know, Palestinians don't want Israel to be on their land or whatever. There's no solution. That's what the I'm saying. There's no solution. Israel. But I'm not justifying a genocide. I'm saying it was wrong. There right? is no genocide. I'm saying those people will not exist. Even if there's a handful of them left and you move them to fucking Florida or whatever you do with them, yeah, that population will no longer exist. That is a genocide. And it's not no, right what happened No, but there is them. no genocide. It's not right. I just don't agree with it. I'm saying I can't back a genocide. I can't. But there yeah, is but no, there's no genocide. genocide. There's no people <laughs> left. That means there's a genocide. There is people left, though, Khan. No, not to make a country. Right. Not enough people to make a country. But where are you getting your information from, what? Khan? What are you on about? How much people do you think's left? I don't well, know. I haven't up. been over and counted lately. Not a lot, in it. There's not a lot of them left. Basically, they've just put them in one little corner. They're hardly giving them anything to to eat and live on. Oh, here we but, go. But listen, uh, again, uh, again, again, no, Khan. Khan, wait, wait, again. Again, wait, wait. What they're doing, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. It's a war. They're quick, they're, they're, what, they're doing, what they're doing is they're putting them into a position where... Well, maybe if Israel begging. didn't oppress them for 65 plus years, maybe they wouldn't have That's all in the past now, Becky. That's all done. Yeah, but all right, Kate. The fact is, these people are going to pretty soon be begging to be airlifted out of there, right? Or... They're going to face the fact that they're, they're going to die on that land. Either way, there's going to be none of them left. 
It's funny that how is, all their neighbours the don't want them. It's well, weird how all their neighbours don't want them. So far, only 30,000 have been killed. They've got a population of 5 million. Where do you, all, all the others go? <laughs> are they all in the tunnels? Yeah, they all hiding. Where, where are they, Carl? Yeah, they've got a roller disco down there. What so the where, what, where are, are all these people? Out, are they? Every, listen... When uh, you, the, the international like, thingies go in, yeah, the media and everyone goes in, and they start yeah. digging up all these buildings, they're going to find thousands and thousands of okay, dead okay, okay. at the bottom. I'm not asking you to care. I'm saying yeah, they, that's they where the numbers will. are going to come. You're going to start realising that there's a lot more people dead than what, what they agreed in the beginning. They, they, they probably will because that's normally what happens in, in exactly. war. Exactly. People come around and they, happens, and they read, yeah. do, the, yeah, yeah. Exactly. do the numbers. But what I'm saying is exactly. in war, in Iraq, in Syria and in these places, whenever was it the responsibility of, of the people that they're fighting against to give the other side um, aid and stuff like that? Listen, it wasn't. Listen, done, it done, was done, the people done. outside. It's not Israel. Once, Israel don't have to give them nothing listen, because done, they're, done, in, they're in a war with them. Year, it's the outside saying. people that need to What is coming Israel. in the future? What is coming in the future, yeah, is going to be so bad that it's going to make this Gaza situation look like nothing. People oh, why? What's forget, coming? What's people coming? People going to forget about Gaza. Yeah. Look America, into your England, ball and tell America, us. America, England, Israel and France are going to bomb the fuck out of the whole of fucking Palestine, the whole of Lebanon, uh, the whole of Syria, ridiculous. and literally the whole that. of Iraq. And then after that, they'll probably bomb the fuck out of Iran and Yemen as well. That that fucking whole area is going to get fucking level. No, it's not, you fool. Wait and see. Wait and see. Uh, They're doing it now. They're doing it for now. For what reason? For for what reason? But I want to go back to about to the, whoever the ice queen is about the 65 years in, in, a, in a minute. But for what reason, um, Con, would would they be bombing it? Because it, it could do if it's for power or if it's for might or, or whatever. The, it, they could do. The they legitimately could the reason do. Is, why would the reason they? is... The same reason that the Crusaders went to the Middle East in the first place is because they need access to those areas because that's where all the oil is and that's where all the natural resources are. That's all they need is money. It's all about money, really. It's all about who's... Oh, who's okay. Got the, okay. All the, listen, they're bombing the fuck out of Syria right now. I guarantee you all the oil in Syria is getting robbed. That Assad... Who buy? Who on, buy? Who buy, though? Everyone who's against Assad. Turkey? Assad holding, Turkey? Turkey's probably doing a little bit of robbery, yeah. I guarantee you that. Not a little bit. We know what you're like. No, because Turkey, mm. Turkey's only got like the top bit of Syria. They've only got the top bit, right? Oh, and they've only got a little a bit of Iraq. There's a surprise, isn't it? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, well, well, they're going to let England go right up to their border. They're going to have a little buffer zone, isn't it? So whoever's in Syria is robbing uh, oil right That's now. Turkey, that means then. America, England, France. Turkey as well. No, not yeah. America and where England. Is the, where's the proof of that? He hasn't got any. Bad. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think's been going on this whole time? Like, do you think people are fighting over a bit of sand or something? There's obviously there's oil there. There is oil. There is, there, there, there is. There is. There is in Gaza. The there is. Russia was backing up Assad, right? And now yeah. that Russia's got bigger fish to fry and other things to worry about. Right, yeah. they can't really back him up no more. So Assad's like for the taking. The only thing that's saving him is Iran and Yemen. It's the only yeah, thing well, that's saving Assad him. isn't exactly Mr. Well, Wonderful, Apple, is he? Is it? So he's he on his way out, himself. isn't he? He's on his way out. Assad's he's, he's days are numbered, mate. Well, I can't care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want but it's good that you're talking about Syria because. Most people don't talk about Syria because they're just talking about Palestine and uh, uh, and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but you know, because they are still in a war, they, they, they're still being displaced in in a, in a way of what is it? You know, it's millions and millions. It's much more than what Palestine's going through. But again, there's no real there's no real solution there either. Right? Yeah, so maybe it's it's, so maybe it is a regime change in the whole of the region. Maybe they do need a regime change. Maybe it's the people there. And their ideology and how they're doing things that is wrong because it only seems to be one little area that is that is in constant conflict not just a little conflict constant conflict with either each other or neighbors or you know further on it's even like with, with the palestinian bit you know you had the yemen people you know the houthis starting to bomb israel and whatever it's like where did you come from why are you getting involved in yeah that? where the hell have they been yeah exactly they're, they're iran's proxy Oh, God. 
They would be yeah, Iran's Iran, downfall. So the whole area they is Iran's Iran's downfall. Downfall. Yeah. Wait, Iran's backing up the, the thingy group, what are they called? Um, Hezbollah. Because Hezbollah in, um, yeah. what, what, uh, what's that country again? Fucking north of Israel. Um, fucking Lebanon. Yeah. Lebanon are all Shias. Lebanon Shias and Christians that live there. So Iran's got a foothold in there. So that they're not going to let that go. They're oh, not going to let America, crazy. Israel and Turkey take fucking Hezbollah for them. Because that's their boys, isn't it? In, that's their in Revelations, proxies. it actually says those that actually wound their self because of the faith, right, which mm. is Shias, are going to back up the Jews. No, but they're warring the Jews right now. Mm. We'll see. They'll change their tune. <laughs> Let's phone up Colin Powell. Let's phone up Colin Powell. Oh, you can't phone Colin Powell. He's dead. He's dead. Colin Powell's dead. Oh, bless him. He was yeah. the best. So you don't keep up with... <laughs> with death. No. No, you've got a weird obsession with death. Who has? Oh no, the guy's passed on, and you're saying let's oh let's phone Colin Powell. I know, I know a woman I didn't around. Know I didn't because... know he's dead. God rest his soul. I didn't know. Give you death threats, apparently. Well, let's phone up Obama then. Obama, oh, yeah, because because he's gonna me? help. Like he didn't yeah. like sign a bill to make like to make it legal to sleep with your pet, did he? He I didn't mean... do that at all. <laughs> what? What? You know what I mean? Yeah, let's get him in. Why not? <laughs> yeah, what did he do while he's still? I'm saying Jesus has come up with the nothing. solution. We need to tell someone, he did isn't it? Absolutely nothing. Part of like, the end. Who's sleeping with Trump. their pets? Yeah, Obama. He uh, he made it legal. Bestiality is legal. Yeah. Mm. Oh, did he? Yeah, that's what I saw. I saw documentation legal. where um, I don't think it's. I'll have to find it again, but he definitely did. He definitely uh. Signed, yeah, uh, who was the weirdo hearing... that yeah, he signed a bill work. saying it was okay. <laughs> okay to do what? To fuck Be your reality. To sleep with your pets? Yeah. Not just your yeah. pets. What have you got budget? What are you going to do? Bro, I don't know. <laughs> Why are you asking me like I'm a bloody expert in this of subject? All the problems in the world. Just lie there. Yeah. He found himself signing off something like that. What a man. Yeah. I know, isn't it? It's crazy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, Jake and Kaylee are going to be onto this one now. Mm. Oh, don't, don't say the name. Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like Beetlejuice, isn't it? Stop it, bro. Don't summon her name. Yeah. Yeah, she's already issued Gary Glitter's got until Sunday. Gary Glitter's got till Sunday. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> so just. Well, you are. Where is he? Where's Gary Glitter? What? Where is he? Gary Glitter has got until Sunday, apparently, yeah. according to Katie. What are going to do? They're going to thing him. They're going to oh, well, well, apologise or something. Do, but... Oh, okay. I, I hope he knows. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I don't oh know. Gary this Glitter has got until Sunday, or Peggy's going to visit him. Oh, is <laughs> it? What the fuck? Oh, my... And 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 yeah, look. She thinks that she's normal. She says she's a human being, talks shit, and she's gonna in me risk getting stabbed. I think she's threatening us again. Oh, she's God. on a mad one. These are gonna get sectioned. I swear, we're all gonna be in the paper. It's gonna be G blocks. Got some I ain't gonna section. be in my paper. You yeah, that's be. all on you. <laughs> you will be, mate. No. Start with the show. What I was trying you're to say to come in the white night, trying to help her, and then you'll get stabbed. I was just saying that Jake's gaslighting her. Yeah, he is. He's made her worse, and it's not yeah. Funny. She's definitely become worse since he's been around. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, sad, everybody really. can see that, and it is sad. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. But she won't help herself. By yeah, so no, Danny, you me. there, Danny? Danny, let me ask you the question I asked Babs earlier today on um, on uh, Ghost Channel. Yeah. With all mm. the shit that's going on in the world right now, Girls. right, and how it affects us in England, why are the Muslims the problem? Tell us that, if you can. Well, that's why are the simple. Muslims the focus of negativity? And by why the way, I fault? didn't get a chance to answer, did I? Go on, Babs. Go on, Babs. You, you didn't actually. Don't talk over me. No, I'm going to go on mute.
Babs. What? <laughs> you can, you can, you can answer, answer the question, I thought, Babs. I thought we asked Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you there, Babs? You there? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm one away. Um, Earth to Babs. Earth okay. to Babs. Come oh, in, no, Babs. No, I thought you asked Danny. I thought you said, I'm going to ask Danny. No, you interrupted like, us and said, I never got a chance to answer. I thought you was like, enthusiastically trying to answer. No, no, no. I was going to let All Danny right. go. I just said I didn't get a chance to Forget answer. Forget Danny. I want to hear what you've got I? to say. Go on, Babs. Go on. Um, Why are the Muslims the problem in the UK? Because, look, I like to get in... It's really hard to it's hard to explain for me because I'm, I've got this fucking problem inside my head. But I I love to be turned upside down, not just you know, not just by Muslims, but by LGBTQIMB blah blah blah. Do you know what I mean? And then you've got you know you've got the Muslim. So I I saw a video of a of a guy having a go at a lady because she was eating her lunch on the bus. I take it she was probably between jobs, and he was like to her, "Oh, I'm fasting. You should be eating that." Well, you know, this is the sort of thing uh, we're losing everything. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, guys. Right, I'll, let me have a better go, and then yeah. I don't know if Wendy wants to have a go. And then no, you yeah. do you carry on, yeah. Right, right. Um, I think it's because we feel a lot of British people or people that are born here that are non-Muslim feel that Muslims are encroaching on their space. That's right. They, they, they and yeah. uh, they want to be accepted, which they are for the most part. I don't have anything against Muslim people, um, but. I, d I wouldn't want to be in the Muslim faith because I don't agree with it. And these people have taken critique, genuine critique, as hate speech and been played by the woke brigade into being the useful idiots. And they're, so we have forces that are using Muslims um, against us and are making them targets. That's why. I agree with you. So how can we if, we, if it was up to us, let's say it was up to us, right, to write the legislation of Islamophobia, how are we going to protect these innocent Muslims from being radicalised? How are we going to do that? Well, we need well, to get not. rid of the radicals. I thought that's what prevent was for. Yeah, but we need, we need the, the Muslim people to agree to get rid of the radicals. I because agree they, getting rid of the radicals. I don't think you, there's you, any you, Pakistani radicals. You you might, Becca, but there's a lot of people that don't. No, they but say that they, do, they do. say that they do to our face. Wait, wait. 70% 70 of UK Muslims, all right, are Pakistani. Right? Or Asian. Yeah, and 33% of them, right? them want to have Sharia no, law in this country. No war. There ain't no yeah. war between England and Pakistan, is there? Thirty-three percent want Sharia law in this country. That's you see the problem. It as a problem. Do you yeah, see that as a problem? The problem. Popcorn, yeah, yeah. Uh, Khan, Khan, Darth Khan. That's the one. Do you see that <laughs> as a problem? I don't see that as a problem because uh, it's the Sharia, Sharia law. law. No, because it's the Sharia law and the belief in Sharia law that makes Muslims adhere to and stick to. The British law, because our law, our Sharia law, tells us you have to obey the law of the land. Now, if we never had no, that, you have to obey have the more, law of the land until you problems. take it over. Wait, yeah, a sec. you'd have more. You'd have more problems with Muslims if that if that belief wasn't there. Mm. Not less. Any I group, actually any... agree with you, Khan, and I think that our governments have failed us in that area. Exactly. The laws, the laws all exist. <laughs> Right, for us not to be having these problems, and that is why I tend to lean towards the fact that it's all been staged for a bigger purpose. It's divisive. Yeah. Oh, on what purpose is that? To manipulate the electorate. I don't know. Stop Danny, us I've, I've never got that. We should stop the ahead. people joining together under one, um, one I party. Think, I think what? it's to probably bring in um, more laws, less freedom. 
and um, to reap as much as they can. The middle classes are being eroded. More people are being pushed into poverty. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, but basically, they want to subjugate all of us. And and it, Islam is the, the means to the ends. Yeah, they want us all to argue, because if we all um, unite, have a united front, they don't want us to do that. No. Why would they want us to do that? Because if we were, were united, we'd be harder to control, wouldn't we? Yeah. Exactly. That is... Exactly, they will. But but this is this is my, this is my problem that I have with with a lot of the stuff with you know saying that Sharia law is you know is except it, it's not a bad thing in the UK because at the moment we're having a, a state of a lot of public prayers right and um mm. from from Islam and we have a, a lot, lot of in, public in, what? Well, prayers, prayers. We're, we're doing the yeah. doing the old la, 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 all that business right. But they're doing it in stadiums now. Mm. I am under the the impression that it said that you that the Quran states that you have got to submit to Allah and you can't um, submit to any false idols like you know any idols apart from Allah you can you can worship. That's correct, isn't it? No false idol worship. You've got allowed. your own country, that is, yeah. You know, no, yeah, yeah but you know, you can't to go to someone worship. else's country and say, "Well, I'm not bowing to your queen." You can't say that. Yeah, but in the, in the Quran it says you can't do the false prophets or uh, the false idols. Yeah, you can't whatever. idol worship. Is no, not that you, can't, yeah, I, I, you can't, pray to, you can't pray to angels and devils and other things other than God, basically. Yeah. So when they're doing it in these in the football stadiums, let's say the football stadiums, that's the stadiums of dreams. That's where everyone idolizes every single person on that pitch. Right, so it's, in, it's it's to me it's a bit troubling that they're, they're tending to go now to the main football um, football stadiums. Is it? It's, it seems like it's like a cleansing thing of saying, right? You know, there's nowhere. Oh, we why can are they? Play. I'm sorry, Danny. Sorry to interrupt you. Why are no, they no. going to the football stadiums? I don't understand. There's space this, there, isn't it? This is this is what it is, though. Is it because we're all worshiping or idolizing false mm. false whatever, and they're trying to cleanse the area? No, I think that you're making that up. But it's interesting. But well, why are they uh, doing it then, Carl? It's an interesting uh, <laughs> take on it. So why I don't are they understand doing why. It? I don't understand. Why can't, can't they just stay there. in their? Why can't they just stay in their mosques and do it? Why have they got okay. to go to football yeah. stadiums and places? Why? Or, or churches? Why are they entering yeah. churches? Yeah. What do you mean? That's because a problem for me. Mus yeah, but the thing is, you're looking at Muslims and Christians as if it's a different religion. But Muslims don't look at it like that. They look at it as it's the same God. So when they go to a church, they feel that there's nothing wrong with that. But they wouldn't go to like a Hindu. Actually, um, actually they wouldn't go to not... a Hindu building. You what? They that's wouldn't go true, to a Hindu Khan. building. They don't look at Christians as the same. They as, don't. As... Actually, that's what not you true, mean. Khan. Half of the Bible, the, the, half of the Quran is talking yeah, about people, people, based, people, based upon the based upon the teachings of Jesus Christ. I can agree with that. That's because the plagiarism that happened from yeah, the, exactly. The they nicked it. it like they nicked he, he just stole it and made it something new. Tried to make it something new. Yeah, that's why it's, it's not like something after new. It's, it's something. For, yeah, it's new, but it's for themselves. It's something that is for their culture. Do you see what I mean? Like in, what do you mean? in when you talk to proper Muslims, you realize that this ideology that Muslims are going to take over the world isn't actually true because they know what part of the world is, belongs to them. Right. All right. So, cool. Let's, let's let's look at the beginning bit. Then I'm going to cut you. Off. I am going to so I apologize, but I am going to cut you because it's right, important. Right. So at the Your beginning, okay. So at at the beginning, right? Muhammad yeah only managed to convert his family, right? For 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 a good few, you know, ten years. The only people that supported him really was his family until he went to other places and started becoming a warmonger and started forcing this religion on people, mm -hmm. right? So it, it's not like Muhammad you know, never left like Arabia. Danny, in the life of the Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, they never left the Arabian Peninsula. Like their ideology was to basically make a homeland for their believers, right? Because at that time, the Romans, the pagans, and the Persians, who were also pagans, were the superpowers of the world. So the, the Christians and the Jews were literally oppressed. So they made a homeland for all the believers, right? For the Christians, the Jews, and the Muslims, they could all live in the Arabian Peninsula. And the, under the, the height of the uh, Muslim empire, 60% was Christians that lived under the Muslims. This is what we're saying, that those people in Gaza, they were Jews that converted to Islam under the Ottomans. 
They were ethnically Jews. So really you what you've got the now sword, is Jews though, Khan. killing Jews. And then people are like, oh, why don't the Muslims go in and save them? Why don't the Jews, Arabs yeah. go in and save them? Because they're fucking Jews. But the thing is, they were forced into Islam by the sword. And I don't, so, I don't understand, right? Seriously, I thought faith... It's all was by like, the by. What difference does it make? We're, we're, it, it doesn't matter, where we are. It doesn't matter because it's not the good word, is it? It's not the good. It's, look, look, it's not going for the good people, word. These people, you're, you're, since you're, the end you're of the Ottoman accepting. Empire, since the end of the Ottomans, they've had the opportunity to not be Muslim anymore. But if you notice, since a hundred years, Muslims are still trying to be Muslim. But you're saying that it's not being. It's not people are not trying to take over. Okay, you're saying that Islam isn't this 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 religion that wants to take over. And I'm saying mm. the only reason it spread, the only way it spread, is from a military conquest. It, it spread through yeah, trade. It spread through pilgrimage. It spread through missionaries, yeah, but the majority of it at the beginning was through military conquest. This is why the Crusades happened. We was like, no, we're no, having this. No, the, the Crusades happened because the Christians wanted access to the to the Middle East. Because of what? Coming, it was expanding. Through, because it was expanding. Constantinople. They were coming, the Christians were coming through Constantinople into the Middle East area, right, to do trade. Right, that's what they were doing. They were buying it worked out that well for you lot, didn't right? it? Now, when the Muslims stopped them, obviously the, the people that were coming, the traders that were coming, were coming with soldiers to back them up, right? And, and then Muhammad that turned into... Because he was a thief and he had a caravan full of thieves with him. The Crusades yeah. weren't in the lifetime of Muhammad, though. So you're talking I'm rubbish as usual. You're just trying to be a troll. It's not even funny. Okay. Go on, you carry the conversation then. Go on. Oh, go on. No, because you're just going to heckle me, like stupid. Come up with stupid. Things. No, I wasn't. I, I literally thought you were talking about the same part time period. So uh, you corrected me. I'm, well, I'm saying in the time of the Crusades, there basically was trade wars, right? Because back then people had to walk wherever they were going. There was like caravans and people going with horses and ca and camels and whatever, right? So it was easy just to put some troops in front of them and say, "Well, we've got weapons. We're stopping you from coming through." That's it. That's how they, that's how the Ottomans stopped the the Greeks from getting to Jerusalem. That's how they stopped them. They set up shop right in front of them, and they said, "You're not getting past us." And they and, and they and, 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 and they never had. They so never how had did the they get there in the end? Then no, it's happening now. It's happening. It's taking this long. What? Don't be an idiot. The crusade. You're not allowed to mention. I mean, when 9/11 uh, happened, George Bush was told he mustn't mustn't call it a crusade because the Islamic people get uh, get you know they get offended if you mention the crusades. No, he called it a crusade, and people. No, he did not him. call it a he crusade. Did. He did, and Tony no, Blair he did, did as well. not. Yes, no, he did, did. not. Yes, Let did. me ask you a question. Do you think it's fair that? The Temple Mount is the holiest place for Jews, only the second holiest place for Muslims. Yet there's three Muslim entrances and only mm. one for anyone who's a non-Muslim. The, the, the Muslims are the ones who brought the Jews back after you Europeans oh murdered them. God. And they offered the Temple Mount to them. They said, no, according to our religion, we've been exiled from here and we can't come back. That's what happens. <laughs> I don't believe that for a, for a minute. No, well, that's what that. happened. That's what it's, it's on. It's on the record. You got to remember that like, there was no Zionism back then, was there? That like, the Second World War and the Holocaust that never happened yet. Where did Moses lead his people to? I don't know. Do you not? No, I'm not going to claim to know something that I don't know. <sighs> You tell me, because as far as I know, Just, Moses never room. arrived. Moses never. See, made now it. who's trolling Aaron, me? Aaron, Aaron made it there. It was it was his his ne his uh, cousin or whoever, Aaron. Yeah, but where were they going? They left Egypt, and where were they going? They went to Jerusalem and took over and set up shop in Jerusalem. He's trolling with us now. I know he is. I know. Yeah. Well, you don't know your own Bible. Of course, I know the Bible. So they left Egypt, Moses died on the way, Aaron got there, and then they took over Jerusalem. <laughs> and Moses they, and they died on the way, off. did he? Yeah, <laughs> Moses never made it there. Oh, right. Yeah, so Moses did he die before it. the Ten Commandments, or what well, he must have done? No, they, no, that happened in, in um, when they left Egypt, right? Yeah, but so when did he die then? Where was where, where On the way there. On the way there. Ah. <laughs> Strange. This 
Lucy, what why, you've why, done, but what's what you lot have done, you've nicked all of our people out of our the Bible Christian? and took them on. The Christian? And you, you fucking took them on. Yeah, in but that why did rat. the Sumerians, why did they surround the Jews, take all the Jews and then whip them off to Babylon? Why did they take them out of where they were comfortable? Why didn't they leave them where they were? The Romans as well. Why they did weren't they the do Sumerians that did that. You mean the Persians, the Babylonians? Yeah, all of them. Well, they were and then, they, and then they brought them back, though, innit? They brought them back after that. They kind of let them go back, but it was already... So there was the two it, kingdoms, innit? The northern kingdom, Judea, and then the southern king. Wait, no. The northern kingdom is Israel, and the southern kingdom is Judea. So Israel got taken into bondage by Babylon, and then they, after realising how good these people are and how, like, nice they are, whatever, like, convinced to let them go and then helped them set up their their country again. Basically, yeah, but why the did story. they take That's the story. In the first place. I don't know what you're asking me for. Because you they're said you know the Bible. Your people. You're from the Middle East, ain't you? I've only got one percent. <laughs> don't you start all that one drop rule with me, mate? I don't know. I don't know. Well, why, it comes in handy. Really, it comes in handy. The question don't make sense. Get... Why were they going around taking slaves? I don't know. Because like, <laughs> it was, it's like money, isn't it, to them? Slavery yeah, but what I'm saying is they're the ones who started it, not the Jews. Who's they? You know that there's Iranian Jews, right? Mizrahi Jews are Iranian Jews. Yeah, they're the ones that are going to sell us out in the last days. Here we go. Yeah, Why have you become this x Because, expert because they've got the blue and white shawl. That's how we Everyone... can identify them. I don't know. How are you going to identify people nowadays based on the... Uh ancient things yeah they've got these interpreters who say that that's who it's going to be who hey, fucking uh, highly intelligent people who go around reading all these yeah like stuff on buildings what they call pyramids and um everything what jupiter's Rosette, on about the rosetta stone the rosetta yeah stone. apparently sam m thirty thousand jews are going to stand by the dijal Ooh. And the Tajal's going to have a grape for an eye. Oh, shock horror. Floating in the air. It All the, all this stuff, it amazes me. I'm not, I mean, you, you might not. But it's I just, look, it's at the end of the day, it's all money. Everything comes down to money. People are fighting over resources. They're fighting over oil, petrol, and trade routes. That's all they're fighting over. No, that's how it's playing out in our reality. But you can bet your life, right? All of this stuff and mark, move on to the next stage of what's meant to be in Revelations. We'll see. I yeah, highly doubt it. You watch. Doubt it. You watch. What stage, it. What's the, the the next stage is going to be? The rapture and all that, but malarkey. Yeah. Well, we're going to see. We're going to see the false prophet um, help the Antichrist. Yeah, but who is the, who is the who is the full, who is the false prophet? Because there's many people. No, I think it's Benjamin. Yeah, but nobody idolizes him like a prophet because a, a yeah. lot of people a lot of people don't. Um, well, we don't know. We're not, we're not. We're not under like, that. Some people will say, okay, there might would it be, be some that are? Would it be Would it be Donald Trump? People will be saying, and if if this is the the thing to come in, would it be Donald Trump that will be the one that will will be the false prophet? But then who's who's Satan? Because Satan's supposed to be the characteristic <laughs> one who unites the world. There's a few people that they say it could be. Um, some people have said the Pope is the false prophet. But the Antichrist themselves, mm -hmm. they reckon it's that um, Abdullah, isn't it? I think, is it Jordan? His son. Yeah, King of Jordan. They reckon that's the Antichrist. Nah. The King of Jordan. Why? His, his Why son. Him? Why him? Nah, if, any, because, if anything, it'll be, it'll be Salman. It'll be Salman. Been fucking whatever his name is. Of, because of the, the Antichrist, the Antichrist is going to come, look like he's bringing peace, unite everyone, and then we're all going to live under Islam for a while. Who? And then Jesus comes. That's what You're the revelation joking. say. I heard someone say Jesus is uh, Putin. Apparently, Putin. Yeah, um, shut up. Oh, honestly, I heard no, that. someone who's charming no, and charismatic. The, didn't, um, Putin is charming and charismatic. Didn't Putin release um, artifacts recently of Jesus exactly. being black? He's exposing the truth now. He's bringing out the truth. 
Well, I don't care if Jesus was black, to be quite the honest. The oldest <laughs> image of Jesus shows him with an afro, believe it or not. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I don't well, know why yeah. people think we care about that. It doesn't matter. I, I don't I don't think you care about that. I don't think you care about Jesus at all. Really? Well, mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> I mean... If Jesus was black, right, with an afro... Uh -huh. yeah, then, then, then that would put to say somebody come out with a thing of Jesus being black with an afro, then that would literally destroy the whole of the entire world. Why? Because, then, done, it, because Why? everything oh, else, because his descendants, that the, the his 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 people who have been writing about him and who have lived experience of him, okay, they would all they would have to be black with an afro. Oh, what you mean, people who had visions of Jesus? You mean? Not necessarily. No, no, the, 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 the so people who write the Bible. Peter, John, you don't no, know. You get watered down, Danny, yeah, watered down. I don't know. Don't I know. think it would be, don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think don't he's, know. he's, I think he's an Arab, you know, at best. A bit of fuzzy no, but hair, maybe. No, but Danny, but historically, not, uh, yeah, but Arabs they could the be time, saying black, meaning the Arab, Arab the you know, the like of today. that kind of look. They weren't the same as the Arabs of today. What happened is yeah, a lot like, of people may have been from darker. like um, they may have been darker. No, they, yeah, they were darker then, basically. Yeah. Colour and short. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care yeah. what colour they are. I always thought. And then, why is anyway? Why is the Pope kissing the black oh, feet? Don't talk to me. They, about they're the oh, I think the Pope. They're, they're the more. <laughs> <moors. laughs> <laughs> You're gonna of, piss um, off Wendy now. Look. <laughs> I think the Pope when he kisses people's feet, I really think it's a piss take. You know. Because yeah, he's, like, well, he's showing off that look how humble I am. I can kiss yeah. I, th I thought feet. the Pope wasn't meant to so be I bowing down exactly. to others. I thought we're meant to be bowing down to him. He's meant yeah. to be the Pope. That's the whole point of you being the bloody Pope, is it not? That's what yeah, I thought. Yeah, but if Jesus can die for you, why can't the Pope kiss your feet? That's not how it works. They said were the Moors. And that brings that into, into con con contention. Yeah, of of were them or are the Moors actually this race who have been erased from history? The Moors would have been more like Somalis. Really? Like, wouldn't have been, no, they wouldn't have been black like. No, the Moors, Moors were everywhere, weren't they? It was fast. No, but the Moors weren't that black. They were sort of like a mixture How between Somalis and, you know? and Moroccans. That's what history says, isn't it? That's what history says. The Moors were sort of like. Sort of like Moroccans, but not Moroccans. Weren't they today. a mixture of everyone, the Moors? Yeah, they were highly mixed, but I'm saying the majority of them would have been like looking like smileys, I think. I'm sure they were just a mixture of everyone, you know? I think it's weird. The Moors. I thought they're, they're African-African. They're, no. the they're the kings and queens they of Africa. Some they, mixture, they, had some they had some mixed in. They had some mixed in. Yeah. So, so who's the kings and queens of, of Africa that, that your Betterment crew talk about? I Danny, don't know when about, you I don't know. see in the, not back, some pseudo science. in the back, in the yeah. back, have a glance mm -hmm. through some of that later when you're bored. Well, that's about the revelations. Oh, cool. I don't agree yes. with this thing that everyone in history was black. Like, I'm not one of them. No, I yeah, think yeah, Jupiter's yeah, more likely yeah, to be. Khan, what's happened to you, bro? What happened? You're you depressed. You're normally like uh, out here doing the whole Pan Africanist thing. Now you're talking about the Moors weren't black, nobody was black, everyone was. Um, no, <laughs> I, I don't what agree happened? that everyone you in should have heard him black. this afternoon. Like, with listen to the I've, heard, I've heard that Muhammad oh, was yeah. black, I've heard that Buddha was black, I've heard that Bob Marley was black, I've heard everyone mm -hmm. was black. Basically, Bruce Lee was black, everyone was black. Did I've you hear this. that Maham um, Prophet Muhammad's meant to be ginger? Yeah. I did hear that. <laughs> did you the not hear that one? Is that why all the gingers are becoming Muslim? The that's, why that's, that's, that's why everyone's yeah. dying, apparently. That's why everyone's dying their yeah, beard red, red because they think the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is meant know, to be a ginger you know there's guy. There's actually paintings of Muhammad. The Shias have got paintings. Yeah, but they, they made him quite good looking, though. Uh, he is ginger, it's though. It's like an idolised. Is he ginger? Yeah, that's why you get some sec sectors that they heard, have to dye their beard and stuff. Yeah, I heard Genghis Khan mm -hmm. was ginger. That's okay. No, I doubt he'd be ginger. Don't be so silly, Genghis Khan. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, apparently, all his children and his grandchildren all inherited his uh, red beard. So I don't know why the beard's a yeah. different colour from the hair, but apparently the beard can still stay ginger. Mind you, a lot of dark men 
can grab Have you ever seen that? Someone with like different colour hair and a ginger beard? Yeah, I've seen it a lot. Oh, I don't know how that's possible. I've seen it a lot. They grow a beard and they go, oh, I don't like it. It's got a ginger tinge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically. So they're saying... Um, but gingers a... were not the original ice people, huh? When gingers, like they, they say, it was, it's was it been bred out. Because What's of ice the, people? What is that ice because people? Because of... Uh, it's one of your crew, man. I don't know. It's one of your crew um, terminologies. But what I'm saying is the original white the, like the, the the before multiculturalism you know crossed genes or whatnot white people mm. would be uh ginger but now because it's been crossed it, you know there's been multiculturalism for for the for the thousands and thousands of years yeah it's, it's kind of it's kind of now on a, on a you know it's not there but then all of a sudden you have this family with a proper ginger person and what? it's a throwback do you know what i mean it's literally just a throwback <laughs> of, of, of the genes you know, that no one for the last, you know, three generations or whatever has been ginger. And then all of a sudden, this kid's like full on ginger. Mate, I've seen a black man with ginger hair. Yeah, I've seen a couple with a, it's questionable. That ginger gene not black, just black, but... fucking ain't going nowhere, bruv. That ginger, there's no yeah, way. Yeah, that, that, that ginger, ginger gene's like, I'm staying. You yeah, ain't getting rid of me. Stay, <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. a lot of albinos that have got ginger hair, isn't it? No, albinos don't have any colour. No, seriously. Yeah, they're, no, they're, no, they have really white, white, white hair, don't they? Really like white. Yeah, when they're white, white, but when they're black, white, they can have ginger ale. Yeah. Oh, is it? Do you sure they don't just dye it with a bit of henna or something? No, no. I think they dye it, Jupiter. No, they don't. They do because a lot of Muslims they dye their beards. Like I've seen Pakistani men with red beards. Oh, what? And what they the dye fuck it with is henna. wrong with you, man? Like, what? <laughs> fuck it, <laughs> hell. What? Uh, what what lot of Muslims like we're talking about ginger people? How's it gone on to Muslims? Like, what I'm is saying that uh, there is a tradition amongst Muslims of putting henna in That's your beard wicked, but we're and talking dyeing about it, ginger people, like, dyeing it red. About. The reason why they dye their beards red is because, like um, people said, the ancestors used to be ginger. I heard it was because the Prophet had a ginger beard. Apparently. Yeah, yeah the ancestor basically. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind it. White white thighs and two left. I think things. it suits women. I'll, I'll be yeah. honest with you. I think ginger suits women more than it does men. It looks all right on women, but on men it you, just looks a bit weird. You've just been looking at that TikTok filter too much, Khan. That's what <laughs> I don't know about these things, mate. I don't know what <laughs> filter. Oh, Khan, do you think he's even... related to Diane Abbott because he's got two left feet as well? When you're saying, I don't hear describe you. I, I, cut out. I, I think my internet cut out. What? What? Do you think he's related to Diane Abbott? He's got two left feet or something, hasn't he? Who has? The devil. Uh, Muhammad. When they describe oh. him in the Quran. Muhammad ain't got no descent. No, Prophet Muhammad ain't got no descendants. No, he's got they two left murdered. feet, apparently. They all murdered them. Yeah, can I tell you one thing, actually? Oh, because I was going to say this earlier, Carton, right? About about the Prophet Muhammad and, and Aisha, right? Yeah. And it's not about it's not about him being a pedo, right? But I'm just saying, right? We can agree that he was young, right? <laughs> we can agree that she was young, very young, yeah. And he was like nine, around... some people say nineteen. She was okay, nine. Yeah. Okay, she, it doesn't doesn't matter. She was she was under twenty, yeah. Yeah, she was like under, under twenty. Yeah, and he was around fifty odd, yeah. Yeah, and he said to Aisha that when I die, you cannot remarry. Is that correct? I don't know. So, well, he who you got to he remember. Say, oh, you As he remember, said, that, I'm not, I I'm not, not a, a well read Muslim. Okay, oh, where's I'm wise under the belief. religious when you need it? I'm under the belief. Don't, don't ask him, he doesn't know. It's difficult what because goes there's on in England that and apply he to does. prophets that don't apply to normal humans. All right, so, uh, so if, if, if he said, if he said nobody can marry Aisha, right? Yeah, do you think it's acceptable for a, a prophet, uh, yeah. someone that you idolize and, and, and bow down five times a day to, yeah. to? No, to we don't bail, die, we don't to to die leaving oh, a woman childless. Me, I thought it was yeah. To die yeah. leaving a young woman childless and unable to marry or have another family. So in a time when when women needed to to raise the family, that was their sole real purpose. You know, was to be around kids and to you know procreate and whatnot. Do you think it's acceptable? I think that um, if God said it, then it's okay. What do you mean if God said it? 
<laughs> like, God told my, like, because the thing is, what you don't realize about, like, everyone's talking about Aisha, Aisha, Aisha all the time. You've got to remember that literally half of the religion comes from Aisha. She was basically the prophet's biographer. She wrote everything we know about him, literally, like all the hadiths, all the sunnah, everything we know is literally from her. So she's yeah, not she just some. She didn't like him very much. She's right, not just some she average said he person. He made her rip her hair out. Whatever. But, but he left. He person. left her. He left a young lady that couldn't marry without children. So what else was she supposed to do? So, so is that why? Is that why you, you'd say if God said that was her duty in life was just I'm to write this. about a write about you know a few things that she's she seen. Her hair out with stress. I don't. I don't. She, I don't that. get your point. You're you're saying that she. Should my point be able is, he can't be a good man to marry someone my, else. My point is, he can't be a good man if you marry a young woman yeah. as an old man and then yeah. you banish her from from having a baby. Right, Who's an old man? Wait, 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 wait. Or, Who's or, an old man or, at fifty? What are you on about? What do you mean? You're going to be fifty soon, Danny. Yeah, but I'm not. Hang on, go back in those times. Two hundred years ago. We're not yeah, back in those times. Fifty would have been like ancient. It would, you know. Yeah. What are you on about? That's bullshit. No. Fifty ain't old. Fifty ain't old. Good. There's no, we have, we don't live better life now than we did fourteen hundred years ago. Is that what you're saying? When they were living in a cave. <coughs> oh God. No, the only thing they never had was like penicillin and um, medication. Oh Christ! Right, so, so Please, do you God. think? Do they? Do they have houses? How, what houses do they? And they have? were living like they were eating. They were running water. Food. They were living quite healthy. Some did they have running water? Did they have? Did they have don't sanitary forget, like, conditions? That were like they were ruling the the ruling the whole Saudi Arabia. They must have been living well, innit? it? Oh come on, can't get serious. No matter where you, you lived in the world, fucking fourteen hundred years ago, today's got to be better than then. Exactly. I'm not saying what's better and what's not better. I'm just saying that there was healthy people back then because obviously we're inheriting their genes, isn't it? So <laughs> there couldn't have been that. Yeah, but they didn't live us. as long as us, did they? The average age was a lot lower everywhere. Well, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, but they died of different things, isn't it? Yeah, diseases, simple things they died of. Yeah, like a little I cut think, or a I nick. think infant mortality was one of the, the biggest issues back then because clearly yeah. um, populations need to be sustained, otherwise they die mm. out. And infant mortality is one of the contributing issues to that. So there is a reason for people marrying young or having children younger at any time. Like even like today, um, what did they say? If you're 30 years old and you're having a child, apparently that's considered geriatric or some shit. Right. Well, there's a high percentage of chance after of, you're 36. Um, when you're 36, you're classed as a geriatric mother. 36? Yeah. Like, how is that they old? Used like? to be 32. Um, yeah, but then that, that must be an old thing that can't be relevant now. That's that's important. Like, I think no, that's, 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 that's what it is now. 36 is what it is now. 36 is what it is now. The chance of Down syndrome goes up too much. For, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was younger, they down. said that the cut off point was 32, from then it started to degrade. So I don't know. They must have lifted it up a bit. Maybe. Yeah, it's quite. Of... Last time I checked, it was thirty-six. Yeah. That's crazy, but it's understandable as well, really, isn't it? Because we all, after thirties, we all start feeling older. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, I had my wait, last wait, kid stop. at thirty-eight. Why was you checking? Um, I think you came up in another you, conversation. Marie, why would you check in? Yeah, I'm not. I'm, yo, I'm, I'm talking. Don't check in, man. You're looking to have more kids, isn't it? Yeah, that. I no, I don't want. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't want no more because I've got three. You're looking to get before. married. Knock out a couple more chabbies. Is nah. that you? okay? All right. That's the point, Becca. Is your your fiance? Has he got children already? Why? No, he why do you want to know? Because he probably will want a child from her. Why will he? Most men do. Do they? Okay. I thought most people weren't even having kids. You're talking about where? Majority of most people I know. Most people are having most children, people but they're with. stopping at one. Most That's people I grew up with haven't even had kids. Really? Yeah. And the younger well, and generation than me, like and they, would, and they wouldn't let, and they wouldn't have one with you. <laughs> Um, yeah, me, yeah. Like, even my yeah, go on, Will. Right, let me read this out for you, yeah, <clears throat> and see, yeah. If you're 
if the if the MP that you was gonna vote for had these policies, would you vote for him? Yeah. Oh God. Oh, so one hundred percent. Full employment and an economy that works for all. He's a liar. You've that sounds won. like, that sounds like anyway. Jeremy Corbyn. That sounds like Jeremy Corbyn right now. It is Corbyn. I've read it. <laughs> He's giving homes himself a guarantee. A secure yeah. homes guarantee. Would you vote for that? Yeah. How's he going to do all these things? Yeah, exactly. Communism. <laughs> Communism. NHS and social care. Yep. Yeah. Communism. Communism. Yeah, yeah. Right. A national education and service open to all. Yep. We've already got that. Yeah, no, but you're saying that you say, wait, 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 one second, one second. To all, you keep saying like a, like a mm. houses for all, this for all. No, I wouldn't vote for someone who wants it for all. I oh. want it for the British people. Yeah. That's it. All means, Everyone else can go to the back. Means, it? All means. That means. No, all means. No, all means everyone in the UK. All. We've heard yeah, all yeah. this before. They've it's promised it's all it. this before. Yeah. That's the immigrants as well. National education and service that you already read that already. Yeah. So action to secure our environment. Yeah, all right. Mm. Well, see, the environment? environment. Say it again. Unless they can, unless they can I read a bring. Report, yeah. Wait, listen, I read a report yeah, saying that the British government could uh, make, I think it was like, 12 times the amount of green energy they're making here, yeah, but because oh, they're getting funded by um oil and electric companies or whatever, oh, God. God. using up as much green energy as possible. <laughs> as they... <laughs> but you know what, Ben? You know what you've just read out about Corbyn, yeah? He was leader of the opposition and it was very lackluster. Like, he, he's one of them guys who talks a good fight, but in reality, what did he do? He was in a position to actually do something and he did, that he, did around, he, did nothing. he wasn't in the position to do anything because you have to be the leader to actually do anything. Yeah, he but the leader was people didn't fight. want him. No, he did, he not have a, did he not have an election as the leader yeah. of the opposition? Yeah, and he lost. So yeah. people yeah. didn't like what his values or no. what his policies were. No, no. Nah, well, people, were doing what, people were doing like what Wendy is doing right now, yeah? Because it's Jeremy Corbyn saying what um, something that they would actually vote for if a Conservative MP was saying, like it's they're just saying many. no, no, it, it's going, no, no, okay. no, no, okay, no, so no. Yeah. we've heard all this before. <laughs> okay, then, Listen, Billy, right? Well, a, wait, lot wait, of, wait. a lot of what reform is saying, I actually like, but I don't trust reform because no. of the people that they've got. The associations that I've seen them on the build up to them getting together, and. Because they've been having memos going out telling them to behave and not to do anything controversial. So it goes against everything they're bloody saying anyway, where they say they're going to stand alone. And they're involved with Holt Not Hate, aren't they? Exactly. I that's the big main the, problem. I and Steve Atheist from man, Speaker's Corner. Mm. Hey, do you know that Welsh guy? I spoke to him, that, that dude that got um, kicked out of reform. <laughs> you know, that, that Welsh is kind of <laughs> radical still. He's mad. Uh. Did you see what he, did you hear his, did you hear see his statement that he made that made him get kicked out of reform? Why they kicked him out? No. No, what did he do? Oh, no, he, he said something else about some black people still. Oh god. It'll be on the you'll be on the voice of Wales uh, podcast tonight or tomorrow night, so you can see Yeah, it, yeah, right? yeah. That's my man, isn't it? Voice of Wales. That's when I got kicked it's out. Your man. It's not voice of yeah, voice no, wise no, that get kicked out. Stan's UKIP deputy leader, and um, and uh, Dan is still doing what he's doing for Voice of Wales. So no one's got kicked out there. Who was the reform? Who was the reform guy from Voice of Wales like, from that group? There was no reform guy for Voice of Wales. Wasn't it? So I just see a, I just see a post on his thing, man, and I was um, spoke to him on. No, I think, I think, I think, I think they're trying. I think hope not hate uh, were saying that because they um, they did something with him or something that, they, that everyone's connected. But yeah, hey, look, Cool Cat said the leader said, "Don't be racist on Twitter when you're drunk." <laughs> like, you know what was bad though? Yeah, is that uh, matching, the, matching. Uh, in, in, Yeah, that's what the, the in the dude statement. Like he was saying, obviously, that like, because. 
that's why I, re- I, re- I was recording that Twitter Spaces, right, with um, a couple of um, right dudes and the Anchor G and Brick Girl and others, yeah. And they were saying the same sort of thing in there, like, right, is this reform or is this conform? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, right. Obviously, if your if your MPs start speaking their heart, then they're gonna start losing votes, mate. Uh, but I'll tell yeah. you what, I was listening to Farage about a month ago. It was an old old interview that he did about a month ago. And he predicted exactly what's happening now. And the stuff mm. that he was going through, what he what reform we're gonna put forward. I was like, actually what he's saying makes sense, but it's just that you can't trust them. Mm. At least it's different to what the others are all bringing forward, but you can't trust them. You can't trust none of them. Let me read out and the I'm... next one, though. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> he's not uh, giving yeah. up. No. Never going to give gonna, you. He's going to batter us Never into being communist. You yeah, yes, you know, you're not going to be socialist, that AFP. Trust me. Ain't hey, never going to rap. Mm. No. Right. He's going to revert public. you back to, back to your original. Listen, politics. listen, listen, yeah. Listen, 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 yeah. Put public, put the public back into the economy and services. What? I don't know what that means, actually. Put what does he mean by that, that, then? Taking away, then taking that... away from the private uh, private businesses and making, basically nationalise everything. Oh, yeah, no, 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 against that. that, no. I don't think he would nationalise everything. Probably. That's what I, Richard Tice wants to do as well. I think maybe no, like, no. like, like um, railway, um, buses, gas, no. electric. And water. So, what? so what was, do you know why? Yeah, what I was just saying that was because whichever party gets in, if you want, is, is basically so they can give the citizens the best price for the energy. Because right now we're just getting our asses kicked for fucking. Exactly. All right, Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Where does electricity come from? Oh, God. The nuclear power plant, <laughs> the generators. No, no, no. Wait, no, it's a serious question. The we people make sell it, electricity. We make it. The electricity, yeah, no, the electricity we companies. So the the peat. So it's from one fixed area, right? It's from one place. Let's just say, or a few places yeah. that generate electricity, right? Yeah. So they then sell it to the the companies, right? And they the companies sell it for different prices, yeah. That, that, that's, yeah, that's, that's what the business. That's, that's what the business is. So if you're nationalising <laughs> that, where are they going to get the profit from? The the, the government the business after of paying off business. after paying off all the people, all their companies, the multiple electricity companies, gas companies, or whatever, because now it's not a monopoly. But where are they yeah, going to get the money from? Where they going? We shouldn't even be paying for electricity because Nikola Tesla, all those years ago, found a way of getting electricity free for the universe, for the whole world. But they won't let it be put out there. Do you remember what we used to do? Do you remember what we used to do? Don't smoke weed. You don't have to touch it. You know what we used to do with the gas? You know what we used to do with the gas? You know what we used to do with the gas when it was British gas? We used to hold a lot of the gas here with them silos, the ones mm. that used to go up and down. But we don't do it now because we buy it off the stock market, right? So that's why we're buying it a year in advance. And that's why they were like, oh, you know, the, the, the companies now are making so much money because it's last year's money, whether it was at a cheaper, cheaper bit or whatever. So we've got to get back to how we used to be in storing our own gas anyway. And the electricity that comes in, it should be the government, instead of nationalising it, the government can say, well, you can only make a certain amount of profit on it because we know it's coming in at a fixed amount and we know how much that's going to start at and then you're putting all your profits on top of it. So you can only put it at a fixed, you know, you can only have a fixed tariff of, of a few a few hundred people or whatever. The mm-hmm. French government, the French government nationalised EDF, yeah, and they said the maximum tariff that they can raise is 10% per year. Who for? pays for EDF, though? Who pays for it? For, we pay yeah, for well, EDF on the fucking Dartford Bridge. Listen, bro. Listen, listen, listen. What, what the government would do, yeah, if they nationalize, if they nationalize an energy company, yeah, the and they give Bridge, them, you know. yeah, they give them gov- government bonds for the for the shares in the company that they can redeem over a certain amount of time, innit? So they wouldn't, in theory, they wouldn't be handing out or getting loans of. A large amounts of of dough to um, facilitate the taking over of 
said company in it. Yeah, so. <clears throat> But they're saying that the prices that we're paying now are so high is because of Ukraine, both electricity, gas, and um, house insurance for some reason. Um, yeah, so, why, so nationalizing that's not going to change, is it? Why is France only doing a 10% rise and the UK has got a 90% rise then? Because I'll tell you, I know uh, Jupes laughed at it, but because the Dartford Bridge is the thing that is it, that is allowing it to happen, because that makes how many, how many million a day? I think it makes like 10. I mean, let me just. Let me just work this out. I'm laughing, Danny, because the way you said it, you said because of on top of Dartford Bridge. Yeah, you but know that's... that Dartford Bridge, Danny, right? This is a fact. My mum told me this, so I never knew. When they first bought that bridge in, those tolls were only meant to be there until it evened up the cost of the bridge so... to go across. And then they left them there forever. Yeah, and then they took them out. They took them out. They took out the tolls because they had to do their contract, and that's all. That's what they did. Yeah, they said you take out the tolls because um, it's paid for now, right? And then what the cheeky cunts did is they put in the AMPR cameras. Now that wasn't part <laughs> of, the, of the thing, but technically they've said that they've gone to. Uh, technically, they said, look, we're not charging through the tolls. Yeah, we, that's yeah, not. That's yeah, how yeah. That, that we've agreed to that. We we done our bit, but now we've got AMPR. We're going to charge for that. The uh, shit gun. And yeah. it's things like that. It's things like that why other people can have cheaper stuff. It's like, you know, half of the wa wa who the, the Canadian um, pension funds or whatever, they own a lot of our established uh, our uh, utilities. It's like, why, no, why the fuck are you doing it? Danny, yeah. Thames Water was private, Danny, yeah? And they, was, they gave their <clears throat> shareholders, I think it was like uh, some dividends that was like 40%. Like of the air quotes profits that they made this year even though um even though they made losses so these private companies that are running services in the uk are being allowed to basically ruin the business siphon money off and pay off their biggest um, shareholders and listen given, if our government wanted to all they had to do is roll out gradually Council estate by council estate, solar panels. That's all they've got to do. Eventually, it would, be, it would work out better in the long run. They'd get they'd get all the energy together. The people in the houses would get it for free, and they could sell off the rest to other places where they haven't got the solar panels. They just don't want to. You see, when I went to Nigeria, the amount of houses that have got solar panels and, and, and independent, they don't have the problem. Some of them are not even <laughs> having generators. Because uh, of the solar panels now. We've got solar panels. You know, so. that's the thing. When it's a, when it's like that, you can see the the goodness of it. You know how you can live that certain way off of a grid, and it makes you wonder about all the corporations. It takes you down a huge rabbit hole of saying exactly why are these people charging us for things that are basically free that like we can basically generate ourselves do you know what i mean because mm -hmm. we could generate i don't know how much electricity for a solar panel we could generate in the uk but i'm pretty sure it would be doable it, it, it would be it would be okay, doable. So look, hold, on, yeah, hold on hold on hold on hold on man because you know i ain't finished yet yeah and this was my favorite part yeah if you know what time it is yeah this was going to be oh, my God. favorite part of what my AG, Mr. Corbyn, was talking about, yeah? He said, cut income and wealth inequality. Would yeah, you think that? I'm all for that. I'm all for that. How are you going to do that? Yeah. yeah this is, it. Right, let, this is, what, this is my bugbearer of these socialists. Wage, this is, no, what's right, minimum yeah. wage do? What does minimum yeah, wage do? Wait, wait, wait. What does minimum wage do? Fixed your standard of living. No, no, it doesn't. It keeps no, people's no, bro, wages bro, bro, down. Bro, 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 bro. Stop, stop, stop that for a sec here. Is because that that's the argument that man would have make first of all. Yeah, is like the minimum wage and a maximum wage and giving a freeze on people's pays. Really and truly, yeah, to stop the real wealth inequality gap. Yeah, they need to be installing bigger taxes on things like um, uh, what's it called again? Uh, Hedge funds. Yeah, um, um, what's it, what's it called again? Ah, oh, shit! You know the earnings you get, your annual earnings from dividends, 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 and all that sort of stuff. There, like, um, I school to announce those. Still, I had it in my head, and it's just your gone shareholders' out of my brain. bonuses and things like that. 
Yeah, when no, you but, remember, come back and try and sell it to us. Yeah, yeah, but what when, you tax, when you do your wait, hold on. When you do your tax return, yeah. Basically, when you do your tax return or yeah. whatever, and like you do your employment <laughs> tax Stupid return. Stupid to stop taking the piss. Yeah. And yeah, stop saying yeah. You don't even know. You, you ain't never taking ten years. Yeah, so and also. Well, you think this household don't do a tax return? You're mental. I never said, I never yeah. said this household. I said you, you. Yeah, well, forget about that anyway. Yeah, I'm trying to get personal, you know. Yeah. So I was just saying, yeah, about when you do your um, say, Richard Sunak, yeah, and over uh, over a million pound or whatever in it, and he only paid eighteen percent tax. On his capital gains, that's what it's called, capital gains. Yeah, you use capital gains in it if you do, if you got like, um, if you got the stocks and shares that's not in an ISA or whatever. Really. That's why I always tell people to invest in an ISA or whatever. Really. Like, as a poor person, you need to be able to avoid as much tax as possible. But yeah, so them man there they've got big, big um, bands that they're flinging about in earning um, however much percentage per year on capital gains and paying. The, the same amount that you're paying on your um, employment as a low wage <laughs> employee, it's like, bro, obviously, percentage wise, they're not paying the same percentage as you're paying. So, this the amount that um, me and Hector would pay in um, tax as a percentage is not the same amount as a percentage as someone like Rishi Sunak might be paying for being able to. Yeah, but all the really rich people, so if, you, if you make them pay more no, tax, they're not fucking off. No, it's not. Cool. Yeah, it can be done. It, it can be done getting, if he's getting eighty percent, yeah, on over a million pounds of earning, yeah, and if you were to mm -hmm. earn over a million pounds, um, pay pay as you earn, or um, self-employed, you mm -hmm. pay over eighteen percent tax, right? So percentage-wise, you would pay more than he's paying in percentage. That's 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 that doesn't work out because if you're only over a million pounds, you wouldn't be going through PAYE anyway. Yeah, right? but they've already said the rich have already yeah, said that if but, they have well, to pay this more is the tax, thing, right? If people, wait, wait, hold on. You think people that, that, people that if you want to invest money PAY, um, over a million pounds, pounds yeah, no, there's not. Yeah, yeah of course. There. Yes, of course there is. They'll all be. There, there would is, all be they would all be under some type of directorship or some time of that to make sure that they um, have lower taxes. Because you're, once, I'm about once you want to do a loophole... You're you're, I'm talking about PA, PAYE, yeah? So, say, for instance, Rishi Sunak gets 100, 120 racks a year for being Prime Minister, and he might pay 40% tax on that or whatever. It's not a million pound, though. You said a million pound. No. Uh, listen, listen, listen. Then on his capital gains, because that's what you have to do a tax return for as well, capital gains or whatever. Like I said, if you're doing, um, if you're if you've got like a separate business or you're trading on the stocks and shares or whatever, you're doing um, interest loan with your cash or whatever, and you're getting your dough back in at the end of the year. Basically, yeah, at the end of the year, you have to do a tax return on some on the capital gains that you've made in the country. On that stock market or whatever. On your in that, assets. In yeah, yeah, on assets or whatever. Yeah. So on your assets, if they've gained, if your assets have gained money, okay, then it will be it, that will be part of it. That's not your PAYE. That's not Richie Sunak's 121, um, you know, grand on his prime minister salary. That wouldn't have Do you nothing think to do with all games. Off of his 120 grand um, salary, or he lives off the interest. On his assets, Rishi uh, Sunak, he he lives wait, wait, off. Yeah. How do interest. you think that rich people live? What do uh, they live on? He lives off interest. Off the interest of the, of the, exactly. So them man paying an extra one percent on their fucking big thing, oh. rather than us paying an extra one percent on our little fucking wages. Which one's going to help out the economy more? And quick, wait, hold. Which one's going to make more of a dent in the debt in the economy and put more stuff into the services? Who's one percent? Well, why should they? What do you mean? Why should they? It's the fucking English. You, you, wait, you own a you earn a hundred quid. You earn a hundred quid. That. You you're earn a hundred quid should, a day. Yeah. Is that what you say? Right. You you earn a hundred quid a day. Right. Yeah. You now go. You now go and buy a big issue every single day because it's going to help someone else out. Yeah. You're not going to be. You're not going to be forced into doing that. No one's going to say, you're, not, you're going to be like, why should I do that? It's my money. 
I worked hard for my money. I did this for my money. So why should you be taking money forcibly right, so of saying, people yeah. who have made it? I am not if a rich man. I'm not a rich man, okay? But I, I understand. Country, you you saying that you wouldn't want to pay an extra 1% to make your country uh, airports great again? So repair services. It's my choice. Are you talking about choice or are you talking about what a government's telling you to do? If it's out of my choice, then if I could do something, I'd, I'd like to think I would do it for the people, okay, if I was that stupidly rich, out of yes, my own choice. If a government, if a government's this? forcing me to, f no way. If a government's telling me, Danny, you're going to have to pay extra because you are earning X amount of money, I'm going to tell them no. Well, that's what that's already it, happened there. That's what happened happen? on because the more you earn, if you earn over 120 grand a year, not, you pay not me. Tax. If you earn over, yeah, if you, if you, Danny Roscoe, if your tax return is over 120 grand a year, you pay 50% tax. If your tax return is under 120 grand a year, you pay 40% tax. If your tax return is under 60 grand a year, you pay, uh, is it 28% tax or something like that? So, you do pay more the more the more that you go up. But the super rich and the people that can afford to pay a bigger share that will actually help out all of us, yeah, even though we're still paying what we're paying, and they, they would still be paying less of a percentage out of the amount of earnings that they're getting compared to the percentage that we're paying out of the earnings that we're getting. Because I, I keep I think you keep missing that point, yeah. The percentage of earnings that we're getting here, yeah, like say me and you, yeah. If we just work a nine to five or whatever, it's just that, yeah. So that's that is our income, the nine to five, right? Uh, a, a, a wealthy person's income is um, capital gains and assets, like other people going to work and putting in things to pay them back or whatever. So their man actually don't even get out of bed to go work. So man paying an extra one percent for things to get better in the country for the fucking. People that they're already dragging all the dough out of their pocket for, like I can't see why, I, I, especially a patriot, yeah, someone who's talking about England, this, that, and the other, would be fighting against any anything like that. Like I thought you'd be all for that. Right. For number one, it depends if the government's serving the people or not. Okay, so if my tax money is going into the serving the people, it it would be there. But I don't I don't like to pay uh, as much tax as as I can, and it's only thirty seven and a half thousand pounds. If you earn forty grand a year, you should be on some type of um, forty percent or close around there, because that's how low the bar is. Um, it goes you know it goes up to the hundred twenty five grand. So it's such a big a big scope. If you're earning right, half so decent money, if it's if it, if you're earning yeah, half decent money, huh? If you're under fifty-two, then you're forty percent. Under fifty-two, then you're full. So then you're twenty. Is it twenty-eight or whatever? Under like fifty-two like grand. Yeah. No, I think it's lower yeah. than that. I think it's lower. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's much lower than that. To be fair. And that's the whole problem. That's the whole problem about the inequalities, and that is they're saying it's you know if somebody is on say forty grand, you know they should be getting really that twenty grand. grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But it's it's the point of the fact is if you're earning a higher 100%. amount, then surely you should you should be you should be um, a limited company, or you should be like so you should be doing your own tax affairs, and that way you're going to be getting the benefits of it. If you're working a nine to five in the shop. And you're never going to be on this money anyway. Do you know what I mean? Unless you're, I don't even think a manager would be on 50. Would a manager be on 50 grand in, in Tesco's? So, no, I don't know about Tesco's, but I'm saying that some Most people, people who make money are self-employed or make their own money off their own back in some ways. Or some mean. type of limited company, right? That's most people who make the money because they understand the tax benefits. With office huh? jobs. I know some people that are on six-figure office jobs. Salary what, basis. Go PAYE? Yeah. Well, that's stupid then. Yeah, but that's their base. That's the contract, isn't it? The basic contract. It's that's not stupid. a choice of... It's not a quite... Wait, wait, hold on. It's not a contract choice of where you can... You see, like, on building site, right? We, you might get to a certain level where you can have a choice of, right, you can do a pay, or pay, pay as you earn or CIS. It's not like that in certain... Um, I think we're doing in certain companies. Or you just got a contract in it, unless it's a self-employed role, where you where you're coming in as a limited company mm. to do work in the field. But more times, yeah. if you if you're 
the uh, players you were contracted to do said role or whatever, mm. you, you can get a six figure salary, a hundred rack salary, or a hundred plus salary paying tax. All right, cool. So I'll be with you on 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 paying lower. I'll be with you paying lower taxes anyway. Do you know what I mean? Who wants to pay higher tax? We want to pay the bare minimum tax that we we can pay anyway, right? Especially when the government's not with us. But that doesn't sort out the tax in the, the inequalities of taking money off the off the super riches or, or whatever. Because the you know even if it's like like Starbucks or whatever, uh, Starbucks or, or Costa, you know they've got loopholes. They, they have a they have a company off in off in Ireland and they put it all through there. That company makes a loss. Coming back to the why, UK, why, and they don't have to pay tax. Why, why is that not an issue? Why what isn't that? Because that helps us as well. That helps the people in the it UK. Help. It helps me. It what I can't, I, I can't, it I can't let off. I can't let off seventy percent of. No, but bro, listen. Over time, yeah, that slowly drags uh, assets and money away from the UK because the profits that these men are making, tax that are able to avoid tax, are not going to the UK government is leaving the country and going to offshore accounts. That but if never the offshore account was in the country, it wouldn't need no, to be offshore anyway, would it? If it was low tax that's, anyway, that's, it wouldn't need to be reason, offshore anyway. That's the reason why they should be making sure that they are collecting the tax off the big boys rather than chasing down fucking benefits cheats. But well, that's not even going to make a fucking dent in the fucking amount of debts that the British government actually has at the moment. 100%. I, I agree with you. You shouldn't be chasing the smaller people if there's a tax violation or there's some type of, of manipulation going on, right? F figure out where the big boys are with you on that, right? You shouldn't do people. People, if they're hustling, they're, they're hustling for a reason, right? There's no point taking them to jail because they've done some benefit cheating and they've got, you know, a couple of grand or, or whatever it is. Do you know what I mean? There is a... There is a, a there's going to be a threshold, but you know, just normal people. That's fair it's enough. But your your thing, what you're saying is, yeah. is we all need to, we all need to have lower taxes rather than saying, right, you're going to have a higher tax, but we're going to get some more tax off the super rich and we're going to give it back to you. No, why don't we just say, do you know what? We're all going to have five percent tax. There you go, bang, sorted. How many people? How many companies would then come to the UK and put their money into into the UK, right? because of our low rate tax why do people live in monaco the super it's rich live in monaco the super live rich live in dubai why do they live in the zero how you tax sort out the mega rich siphoning money out of the economy the government owes economy. money to the mega rich yeah, and the mega rich keeps siphoning off the um the, the cream of the top yeah. and how then, is the government owing money to the super rich yeah because all the different uh, who who are the government in debt to it's not the super rich, is it? Is it? It's in debt to. Yeah, it's in debt to other companies in that. Other uh, countries. But bro, who 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 owns the hedge fund, hedge funds and these different? Um, yeah, JP Morgan and Chase and all, all, all these people. To to give out the loans. It's, all the super, yeah, the super rich people. Yeah. Owners of these companies, isn't it? Yeah. So it is mm. the super rich. Mm. Like the people, Dan. I swear down, yeah. I've been to some of these man's houses, bro. Yeah. And I swear down, yeah, these men have left us. They're in a different. They're in a different space. They're not even on it. Are you not jealous? Even on no, no, no. I'm not. Are jealous you jealous of, of how they live? No, bro. I'm just trying to tell you, cause that you couldn't even fathom how some of these dudes are living. Like you won't I speak to them. I know how some people yeah. live. I know how some people live. Only the house manager. And you they don't live in our society. They don't have a, a concept of of any type of our life. Yeah, so that's yeah. a completely different life that is alien to each other. They don't know us, we yeah, don't really know so them. What I'm saying is, though, yeah, so the point I'm trying to make with that is, though, yeah, so for the benefits of being able to uh, make it to that luxury lifestyle or whatever, yeah, it would be less painful for these men to pay an extra 1% a year on whatever taxes that they're paying, capital gains, rather than raising taxes for the middle and lower class and even the upper middle class of people. You, you, you're like, missing it out, though. You're missing out the point. You, this could be much better if they lowered the tax for everyone and invited more mega-rich in. Have you done... Have you, 
Have you done any calculations on how they're going to be able to lower everyone's tax to 5% and still pay off their um, government debts or whatever? Because right now, the amount of income that the government is getting per year is, is less than the debt than they have to pay out. So they're right now uh, owing money on interest. So the interest rate mm -hmm. keeps going up year by year by year by year. So, yeah. so that's why the money keeps going up, how much they owe. Because yeah, the economy is... The situation. Um, that's, and that's, obviously... That's, the only way that they're going to be able to catch up with uh, losing out is 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 closing some of the loopholes of the big uh, money that's leaving the um, United Kingdom. All right, that's that's a yeah. I, I think that's a totally different situation because it's been manipulated in this way to bring in you know digital uh, money, uh, you know, to to crash the economy so much that they cannot physically ever pay off any debt so the only way they can do it is to reset it but if in theory that wasn't the case then even taking money from the mega rich and saying you're going to help pay it off our debts and we're going to do an extra one percent and they're going to say actually we're going to go we go to another wow. country we go to ireland and then where they're not doing that so we've lost all of their income all of their wow. their money that they hold here that's all gone now to ireland and now exactly. and now Listen, our yeah. credit rating will go down because not only can we not facilitate our our um our gdp we don't have the money in reserves in people you know why they're not going to do that let me tell you why they're not going to do that yeah because you see when roma ranovic wanted to sell chelsea and quickly bounce yeah? how long did it take him to sell chelsea he didn't want Roman to Roman sell Roman. chelsea it got frozen chelsea exactly. so how club was frozen so so Roman how long would Ranovich it did not oh, pay for so would he, okay would he be able to take chelsea and move it to ireland would he be able to do that pick chelsea up and no move it because ireland? it was frozen if it wasn't frozen he could have done that so, yes obviously so if, the assets if, out of listen, chelsea listen, and and this, is the point now, this is the point i'm making to you then yeah so if the way that the people are making their um um capital gains is from us not paying our mortgages anyone paying back their loans, any people visiting any of the businesses they're visiting and all the different services of the UK, yeah? How the fuck are the super rich going to just get up and leave their money behind? All the money that's owed to them, the interest that they're supposed to be gathering every year, all the assets that they have in the land. How are they just going to get up and move that to Ireland or to their, wherever place they're going to move to? Well, who, what they who do, gonna buy what they do gonna buy it's quite business? simple. It's quite simple, Veli. Really. Yeah, they move Somewhere. their business that is all connected to, like it would be under a trust. It would be all under some type of trust. It would all be under some type of trust. And they'd move that, they'd move the directors, and they'd say, oh, it's going to be, you know, this shameless guy over in Ireland. How are they going to move your mortgage to another country, bro? That, that, that literally don't even make sense. They wouldn't get the other bank to pay the mortgage off. they get the other bank to pay the mortgage off in the UK, and then you'd be in, they'd get the other bank to pay off the mortgage, and then they would be facilitating the same mortgage but at a better price in a different country. What, they would just be able to facilitate a whole different... Your British, your UK loan from your UK bank, yeah, or your mortgage from Barclays would yeah. now be facilitated by so-and-so holdings in yeah. Cayman Islands. Yeah, because what they'll do... Because what, so what the Cayman Islands, well, wait, what the Cayman Islands people would do is they'd be like, right, Danny, how much do you owe in all your all your finances, loans, and whatever you've got? And I say half oh, a five hundred million quid, and they'll say, right, we'll give you five hundred million quid so you can pay off all them loans, and all you got to do is start paying me in the Cayman Islands at a much better rate as well. I'll say thank you very much. So all of that will be paid off. Okay, there'll be no more money from me. Okay, in these areas now, uh, now the Cayman Islands has got enough to buy all the assets of the UK. They don't need to have enough. A company doesn't need to have a bank doesn't need to have enough money to to do it. If everyone took out their money at the banks, if everyone went to Barclays who had a Barclays bank account and took out a hundred quid right in cash, they wouldn't be able to facilitate it, right? Because they don't hold enough money to do that. It's all yeah, numbers we don't know yeah, but that's what he's saying. He's saying because he, he's saying in the Cayman Islands they wouldn't have enough money to do that. Well, they don't need money. Look, they don't need money. They they don't need money. Bro, I'm talking about every single mortgage in the fucking UK, Scotland, 
England, how Ireland, Scotland. Every single mortgage now. You're talking about me as a multinational, so super rich bro, person. Because we're talking, yeah, because we're talking about the people that own the majority, the one percent that own the assets or the parts of the UK in it. Like their thing was their 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 assets are movable. Like you can't just pick up their whole shit and just bounce to another country with it or whatever. You know exactly. what I mean? Like, they, they can't everything's they, under trust. Nothing is under think, a certain person. Danny, Danny. You think the Russians... Wait, wait, wait. Danny, wait, let, me wait, wait, wait. let me ask you a question. Let's simplify it for people that are listening, right? Let's say, for example, I'm a British citizen. I've lived and worked in Britain my whole life. I'm pensioner now. I've got a little Wendy Woo flat. That, that my housing benefit gets paid. My shopping gets delivered by Tesco. A very nice boy delivers my shopping. Would I be able to move to Ireland and claim my pension my british pension from ireland or from cyprus and spend it there would you you could cause you it's, it's your pension you is, could it anyway that's siphoning money out of the economy the money i'm spending in cyprus or in ireland yeah it's not like i'm spending it back into the economy right so technically although i've worked in england my whole life and i've, and I've got myself to a level where i can claim a government pension by taking that money out of the the government's um, pockets and spending it elsewhere, right? I'm taking, I'm siphoning money out of the economy. So that's what. So the is all the do. Polish, all the Romanian, all the Bulgarians, all the Spanish, all the French who are in the UK making money and spending it outside. I'm saying that there shouldn't be any siphons. There shouldn't be no one making money out of the economy. Yo, yo, why is someone that's usually saying yo? These men are coming to our country to fucking drain all our resources. Yeah? Get me. When you can see these men, the top men, are fucking withdrawing um, as much profit as they can from the country and draining resources and not putting and putting minimal back into the country. You got nothing to say about that. If, if anything, yeah, but listen, you. listen, very, very. No, wait, wait. Listen, you're a socialist, yeah. I'm a capitalist. Oh. We've got two well, different ideas. We've got two then. different ideas of what's going on. Do I like the current yeah. bit of capitalism where they're screwing that's over the capitalism. modern person? Danny, no, I don't. Wait, Danny, wait a minute, Don't can't. speak over you, but that's not capitalism. What's not capitalism? Draining Building money capital. out of the country, yeah, capital. siphoning it off to the Cayman Islands. That's not capitalism. How is that not capitalism? Because capitalism means people who got the money invest and make things capital. for everyone else to work at. That's what capital. capitalism is. It's about capitalism gaining is capital. Someone with the capital puts it down, opens a factory, and then me, you, and Jim go and work there. That's capitalism. Yeah, and who's getting the profit? The economy, who's getting that's the profit? That's a crime, bruv. Who's getting the profit? The profit is coming to the person with the capital, so it's going to be yeah, the factory yeah, yeah. owner. So, yeah, right? so yeah. He's going to have the factory owner. He's the one that's put everything down, okay? Yeah. He's got the factory. He's got the machines. He's the one that's liable. If if the factory burns yeah, or the right. machines don't work, he's the one liable for it. And the yeah, workers yeah. come in insurance. and sell their... Wait, 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 and say, sell their labour... Okay, to make money, to get money off of the stuff that he's 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 doing, right? But Danny, what you're missing is the so part he's where the getting the money. Our he's government still... has said to him, "You can open your factory, and we're going to charge you half the tax that we normally charge." Because you know what, you're doing it for the country. You put your money down, and you're giving all these innocent people jobs and lives to live. So we're going to give you half the tax off, right now. But when he makes his profit, can he leave the country with the money? It's his profit. He can do what, what he wants with it. No, but the it's government says to him, come and invest in England, make a factory here, build a yeah. factory, invest your capital, and we're going to yeah. do you a sweet deal. Yeah. Right? But then he's just going to take the money and run. But what's he done for the people in that area? He's given them jobs, yeah? So he, he's increasing, okay, the local economy because he's given people jobs and they're spending the money inside the area. So without the person with the factory that's coming from outside, then people would not have that job. Then people would not be spending that money. And that yeah, economy that locally would yeah, be not there. That's right. You're right, right? what you're saying. But so why is, can't he take his money? Why can't he take his money? Yeah, because you can't. Because you made that money because England cut you a nice, sweet deal. What do you mean? So you can't run That's the capitalism, isn't it? You've no, got you, not. you've you've got the you've got the capital. You've got the factory. You've got it at a good price. Okay, where you yourself personally can make a lot of money, right? So what you're doing is you're saying, right? How? What's the no, minimum Danny, amount Danny, of people Danny, I need to work for me? So Danny, I can maximize my profit. Thank you. 
When the government and then, says to you, listen, wait, if you invest can't, can't, 100 million in steel, yeah, can't, can't, we're going to invest 100 million as well. Bro, 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 but we're not going to give you the okay, cash. What bro. we'll do is we'll cut it off yeah. your tax bill. Yeah. Sorry, Kaz, yeah. you weren't listening to me, yeah? But listen, yeah, like I was saying, yeah, the point is, yeah, capitalism still works if the, if the richer in society pay an extra 1% tax or whatever. Like, in, It does affect how much profits they're getting, but it literally doesn't affect their wealth or the ability to still stay wealthy or to keep their wealth or to, to um, practice capitalism. Literally, don't, it don't stop capitalism. So that saying this, any arguments about capitalism isn't really an argument against people paying a little bit of extra tax to repair the place what they are fucking drawing the most of their profits from. Like, and here's the thing, very, okay, yeah, okay, okay, very okay. Now, let me just, yeah. let me just, wait, 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 can't. Let, let, let me just, but your, let me, what is the oh, just, Danny? He's proposing to right. tax their bonuses, not even the normal money that they're making as a return, but their bonuses is getting taxed. And they're still complaining. Where does it stop then? What do you mean? We're, like, if we say we're not even gonna, we're not. We're gonna, gonna take your, money. We're gonna, we're gonna take money off your Danny, bonus. Your capitalist endeavors, your investment, and your return is not getting affected. But any bonuses that you get, we're gonna put a little one percent tax on it. What's wrong with that? Because what stops the people from saying, "All right, and cool, I'm not cool with that." Because now you know I'm such a big company; it's, it's affecting my shares and my shareholders, and you know they're getting annoyed and whatnot. But if I if I just said, "You know what? Let's go somewhere else." We can do it anyway. Like like BP, for instance, right? They've got all their distilleries here and they've got everything here, right? And they've made double the amount of profit that they had before. So someone said, right, we're going to take half of that off back oh, to so the someone government. someone said, right, we're going to take... Hello? Hello? Right. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's echoing. It's echoing. Yo, Veli. Yo, Veli. Oh, shit. You got two things at the same time. Oh yeah, my bad. It's, it's echoing because uh, headphones died, didn't it? So I'm on mute. Yeah, I'm gonna put my headphones back on. All right, cool. Go on, Danny. You speak then. Yeah, I'm saying that um, BP. Yeah, they've got their places in the UK. Okay, and they draw all the petrol. They do all the oils and ref refineries and whatnot. Yeah, and if the government now says we're going to take half of your profit because you've made double the amount that you should have made or you made like the last two years. So we're going to take the money off there and give it back to the people. There's nothing to stop BP saying, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to sell the refineries, I'll sell them to Shell, and I can, because we're drilling oil and we actually make more money just drilling anyway, we're just going to go to the other country and say we'll make your productions a lot better because you know we have this uh you know we're good at what we do there's nothing to stop them from doing it whatever they would do or they wouldn't do is a different situation but there's nothing to stop them from doing it so because they're making a lot of money and you know they're giving people jobs and whatnot why should people the a government force themselves to say you've got to pay just even a one percent because where does it stop once you allow that then it becomes 2% by the next government. Then another government says, well, we need some money for the NHS. So we're just going to, we're going to do some type of dividend um, on you that we can extract 32%. Where is it going to stop? No, I get what you're saying. Obviously, there's going to be some sort of like government, uh, you know what I mean? Um, authority over that in it like there's got to be some sort of like it can't just be willy-nilly like you said like you can't just start taxing people who are investing into the economy because that's self-defeating like really said you don't want to get in the way of capitalism right that's not the point the point is when they get their mad bonuses and that yeah if they get like a little one percent tax on it that's not a big that's not nothing like major that's like me saying to you danny here's a grand yeah really selling a ford cortina Go down and buy it off him. It's a collector's item. I want it. Yeah, it's a grand. Go and get off him. And you come back and go, do you know what? I fucking talked him into selling it to me for 800. Yeah. So I've got an extra 200 pound in my back pocket. Buy rights. You should give me a drink out of that. All right. You, you the one that hustled him and got it for 800 and got 200 in your back pocket. But buy rights. Like I've given you a grand to go down and buy the motor. All right. I've even told you where to go and get it. What, you're going to come back and tell me about how you fleece the geezer for 200 and not give me a little cut? Now, you've got to buy me a drink at least, isn't it? Now, no one's saying give me half the money, but you made the money because of me. These people invest in England and they make money because of us. 
So to ask them for one percent, I don't think it's too much. Like in my opinion, but yeah, that's, that's just my that's opinion. I'm not a, a financial expert. That does that doesn't work out the, the analogy because it would be very that's making the money that each no. you've been making before. But anyway, besides but anyway, the point, try, when, when should when should the government dictate to private businesses, okay, yeah. how much profit that they can give to their shareholders? Because right. I always say, uh, if you want to know anything about the economy that's going on, don't listen to the politicians. Go to the major people's general meetings, right? Because right. Dan, they have Dan, Dan, what I'm hmm? saying, Dan, what I'm saying is there's a difference between profit and profiteering. Making profit, no one's against you making your profit because you said, all right, I'm going to put down this much money and this is the um, interest rate and this is the set rate of return and boom, I've got my money back, yeah? All right, fine, right? What I'm saying is profiteering is something different. Profiteering is immoral. Profiteering is when you're using your money to take the piss out of this country. When you're investing, but you're doing it in a way where the country's losing out because of your investment, that's a piss take. That's all I'm How saying. Is, like, in my opinion, like, like I, said, I don't know much about finances, but I'm saying that you, it's not like they can make money with their money. Like they have to invest it somewhere, in it. Well, not... money don't grow more money, in it. If I got a bag of notes, it's not going to start multiplying on its own. I have to invest it somewhere. Yeah, but what's what's profiteering? What, what, how are they profiteering? Because profiteering is when you're taking the piss. When you're it's when you're, when you're making piss. an unfair profit. Yeah, right. off the next so of everyone that, else. So everyone else is suffering, so you can rake in the profit. So the electricity companies, mm. the the yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, companies, yeah. the gas and yeah. yeah so yeah. these comp these companies here, okay, have had you know, we've had money from the government to make it a lot cheaper, but it would be easier rather than saying we've already spent out the money and now they're gonna put the money back in, is to say to these companies you have to have a minimum price. Your, your maximum price, I mean, you can't excessively um, charge the, the British working class this money because of a proxy war in Ukraine and you're claiming that the gas is going to be a lot more and exactly. the fuel that you're getting is a lot more. So so you're profiting, and I get that, but you, you wouldn't be getting it off the profits that they made because you'd no. want to stop them making the profit in the first place. Yeah, this, they, they're entitled to their problem. profit, isn't it? If they're doing that, if the, the petrol people, they're doing 145, nobody bats an eyelid at that moment. I remember when there was queues going up because it was like 135 and it was going to jump up to 140 a litre, right? I, I remember that only two years ago. Now no one cares. No, no, no one cares about the price of it, but it's still the same excessive price. So what the government would need to do is to say, you know, we need to stop it at that point rather than saying, well, you've made all this profit, so now we're going to take the money you've already made, you've already taken off the people, and we're going to reinvest it somehow into the, into the, the system. It doesn't make sense. It's going to make people, it would make people lead. What you need to do is say, we're going to, we're just going to reduce the taxes and we're going to try somehow into bringing in more people and making more jobs so more people are, are, are I guess, spending taxes and willing to, to uh, you know, get taxed. Because there's not a lot of people, I don't know hardly anybody who is work, but it's the industry, I guess, that actually works on a PAYE scale. Mm. Let me ask you a question, that's a similar question, but a little bit different, mm -hmm. right? It's getting a bit boring. Not boring, but it's getting a bit drawn out. And I, I, I've not really got the brain for numbers. Oh, I heard this thing, yeah. I don't know. I'm going to run it by you. I don't know if it's true, right? But this is what they're saying. They're saying, right, that um, you know how they work out the car insurance, right? They work it out by how many cars have broken down and, and how many cars have needed to pay out and, and all this, right? They're saying that insurance is set to go up by a ridiculous amount. Because all these electric cars that they brought out into the market have just turned out to be fucking shit. And now that money, that cost is going to get passed on to all of us. So they're saying that like, you, your next insurance that you go to take out is going to be ridiculously high. Like not even just like in line with inflation or a little bit more. They're saying basically Yo. it's just going to be through the roof. What do you think about hey, that? Calm down, yeah? You guys, well, wait, hold on, you yeah? here before you answer, yeah. Listen to this real quick here, yeah? because I got uh, obviously I'm in gym right now, still here, yeah? but let me read this out real quick here. Yeah? Labour plans on a five billion crackdown on tax dodgers to fill the non don gap spending plans. Extra investment mm. HMRC most welcome. HMRC says it's failed to cut five hundred billion in taxes since two hundred and ten. 
only 11 wealthy tax evaders have been prosecuted, were prosecuted last year. So since 2010, that's 500 billion in taxes that could have just been collected without tax evade, that people paying taxes any raising any extra taxes and all those sort of stuff they're ready bro so, so the, the capitalist that man's trying to cap for yo man needs to make sure that these men are paying towards the country because you know what i'm saying like shit. capitalism isn't about the taxes though is it yeah but bro it's, that's it's down to a failed the... it's down to a failed hmrc service that failed to collect all this money or off of, off of yeah, whatever so business that's that not 500 to billion that could have been spent on the economy though but that's that's not capitalism is it that's the government's inept ability to actually do their actual job which is why we well, shouldn't part really of capitalism pay. because without the it? loopholes to be able to without the loopholes that was put there because remember yeah the rules the rules and regulations came about to protect people's properties yeah to protect the rich people's properties all these loopholes are really for the people that can afford to fit through these loopholes. Like you have to be in a certain tax bracket or a certain income range to even be thinking about being able to dip in and out of these loopholes, offshore accounting and so and so. They locked that off for builders ages ago. Remember, man could man could have a um, a, a plumbing firm back in the day, um, fucking PLC, and pay hardly any tax or whatever. And just say national insurance on the offshore account, you can't even do that again. But their man can do it though, with their big bread. You hear me? So, yo, capitalism and, and this this system right now is set up to set up to, to sort out the big man's property and save them and their paying extra tax and us man pay through the nose. While man them campaign for us man to pay through the nose and them man to dip through loopholes. Much yeah, but more. multinationalism isn't really capitalism because capitalism would be to freely set your prices and your markets and 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 what in in your society. Do you know? What I mean? If you look at the basis form of it, a multinationalist is trying to, you know, it, it would be the communist, wouldn't it? Because it's it's trying to take over all the little, trying to sweep up all the little companies. So then you have to go to like the Tesco's to try to sweep up all the, the corner shops and outprice them. So it's, it's it's more better for you to go to the big Tesco's, which is saying, you know, come to come to us. So I don't I don't I don't know. Uh, I don't know about your the answer to that, to be honest, because I see it's, it's it being completely different. Oh shit, I was on mute, my bad. These times I was on mute reading out this shit, you know. But let me read this out again, yeah. One time, one more time, yeah. Adam Smith says, profit is always highest in the countries where, which are going fastest to ruin. Record profits at banks, energy, food, supermarkets, drug, internet, elsewhere, have robbed people of spending power. Sustainable economy can't be built on low wages or profiteering. I wonder how everyone feels about that statement. Can yeah, you go for me? You think my guy still, man? I'm with my you know me, man. I'm, with, I'm a closet socialist, man. You, you don't want me to speak. Speak. Speak your socialism. <laughs> go on, um, really. Right, Run it one more time do, quickly. Let, let, me read, let, me, let me read this one, yeah, because this one might more fit more for, for what I'm trying to explain to Danny, yeah, about the that um, people draining the, the funds out of the UK and, and sending them elsewhere, right? Private equity, death grip, 
bought Morrison's PE, that's the firm, yeah? They bought Morrison's for 7 billion. They loaded it with debt. They sold the four courts for 2.5 billion. Sell and lease back of stores, 2.20 million. More butchery, 1 billion in lost, rising debt costs, job wages cut, job, sorry, wages cut, employer contribution to pension scheme cut. What's next? <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's what I that, said. That's, that's the way that, that that's the way that's that they're, the big boy are draining just the money out of. That's how they drain the money out of the UK, right? They buy one of these companies, load it with debt, sell it off, take profits on um, um, equity or whatever, and then sell it for a loss or whatever, or leave it in this bankruptcy or whatnot. Yeah, and that's what I said before that I'm not a fan of this this level of capitalism that people are doing because I don't believe it is capitalism. The way they're going into companies, these big multinationals, and cutting it up, dividing it up, selling off little bits, um, and, and doing stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Because it's that's not what I, I would say would be the true pillars of capitalism, right? That's just somebody, just as somebody coming in and just trying to get all the money, as extract as much money as you can. Now, you know, I want people to make money. Don't get me wrong. I don't want them to make a, a stupid amount of money. But if they did make a stupid amount of money, instead of saying, well, we're going to um, take that via some type of after tax profit dividend back to the uh, government, we're going to make sure you can't make it in the first place. Because that's going to benefit me as a person rather than them paying more money one no, percent and giving it back to the government i don't think that that's what they're trying to do or what the when when the socialist types are speaking about what they're speaking about right they're not saying that no one should make no profit at all in it right? they're just saying that obviously the big tax loopholes that the mega rich are able to bounce through should be closed in it yeah because obviously they're able to take vast amounts of money out of the economy and out of the country and obviously that if the as the as the most wealthiest and the strongest in society like they should pay maybe one percent two percent a little bit more on their taxes because they can afford the hit rather than us man paying an extra ten percent on something what we can't afford it you know what i mean like so yeah. yeah, but then they need to put it in a I'm certain way. Then honestly. you can't put it in after because you've made this money, you made this profit. We're gonna we're gonna tax you higher. It's got to be equal across the board, and you know, for that's what socialism yeah, is all tax, about. Just tax equality just equal across the, across the board, though, is it? Because if you only earn twelve grand a year, you don't get taxed at all. You know what I mean? That so tax ain't just equal across the board, isn't it? Like, there's, a, there's a tax threshold that you begin, and that's on um, your income or whatever. Exactly. We're talking on the capital gains, right? So you see that the way that they just done with that, we just read out with that Morrison information where they were able to drain the company, siphon up the profits, and then send it to the shareholders while the company's name is just saddled with debt. And then my phone's the river, they can sell off the business to someone else. And they can basically do the same thing over rips and repeat. Yeah, so that's what we're talking about. We're not really talking about the one man band or the man that's like just made it like a, made a little two million pound or something like that. Well personally when, I, when I've learned about the people how trying to obviously slow down the drain of the um, assets from the middle class and lower classes and the government getting drained and going to the people which in the wealthy in society. Like for example, there's um the, what's his name? Lord Sutton made 56 million pounds or something. Didn't have to pay a one penny tax on that. It was all siphoned offshore. No one made up no noise about it. Angela Rayner um, didn't pay an extra 1,500. They're on to work. So it's like, bro, why are they on to working class people for all that sort of stuff there? And they're not on to the super rich to pay their fucking share of of the weight that they're supposed to be taking. You know what I mean? Why are they, these men taking, taking the weight that they're supposed to be taking and we got to carry the heavier load? That's just how the, the, the system's been marked out to do. Angela Rayner is a different situation because, you know, it's, it's electioneering, that, isn't it? That is just, 
no one really gives a shit about what she's doing and what she's done, but they care about it because it's election season and they want to discredit the, the, the Labour Party. But do you know what's mad though, yeah? That they don't want to discredit the Conservative Party with um, William Rag giving out giving other MPs' phone numbers on ground. Sending flipping other men dick pics and all them sort of things, yeah? You hear me? He's gone through the middle of it. He's gone through the middle of it. Do you know what I mean? They can't be doing it on every single thing and every single person. It'll be it'll be boring as hell. Do you know? You know. Um, William Magnet's gonna come out. Yo, we're holding this. Listen, yeah. He gave out two MPs' phone numbers, yeah, personal numbers. Because he did he he was instead of saying, yo, he's being bright. He didn't want to admit to anything himself or rent. So really and truly, that's part of it as well. Cause see, instead of saying, "Yo, you got me and I'm fucked up," we tried to slam another couple of MPs under the fucking bus. Did you get me for his little fucking fishy pics that he's been sending to dudes on Grinder and all that. Kind of love. Do you get me? These terms here, he's he's looked at as a victim. Yeah. When is he really a victim, or was he just trying to fucking save his own skin? Should he of course, still have the whip still? Of course not. I, I don't. Do you know what? Yeah, I take it oh, as a conservative. I take away the whip from every single person in there near enough. Do you know what I mean? And let them start again because there's there's there's, there's depravity in all of it. You know, he's a guy who's done dick pics and he's on grinder and he's that's that's a deviant. We can't have them type of people. As parliamentarians, anyway, in my opinion, so you know, a lot of the Tory party has just has gone downhill, and this is why everyone's leaving, you know. And there needs mm. to be a new breed of people coming in, but the ones that are going to come in are going to be more tailored towards socialist side rather than a, a true conservative side. It's my mind, like when you hear Margaret Thatcher early on in your show. You give the Margaret Thatcher speech about you know how the how the um, how the uh, LGTB or whatever is destroying kids. Now there was a ban on anything homosexuality to be to be um, taught to kids all the way up to recent times. I think it was when was it nineteen nineties or something like that where where that got dropped. And now you can see the depravity in the kids. So she wasn't lying, but you wouldn't have a you wouldn't have an MP now saying that. Hey, sorry, bro. I was typing, but I was on mute, man. So, um, yeah, my bad, my bad. But yeah, man. Boy, hey, what's the time now, though? Cause like, uh, you know, anyone want to jump on and fucking help Danny out? Or I'm gonna like, go in a minute. Happy, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go anyway. I was just, yeah. I was just finishing it off with Khan. To be fair, I was gonna go like twenty minutes, half hour ago, but yeah. yeah. I just make sure Karma run off in it so you can't say, uh, Danny, run away. <laughs> 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 All right, say nothing then, man. All right, like, cool. Um, I've got a little video to play, yeah, and then and then I might wrap it in film, man. But big Do that. Yourself, I'm going yeah? to jump, jump out. Yeah, nice one for that tonight. Nice one, yeah. All right, All right cool, bro. Have a good one. All right, big up, big up. All right, cool, big up. Yeah, man. Big up. I feel like we're to hold everything I'm supposed to do. Yeah. I'm right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, let me show you when that one is still. After the Second World War, there was an uprising by the Kikuyu people who wanted their land back. The Kikuyu were herded into concentration camps and fortified villages, almost the entire population of over a million people. People were systematically tortured to death. They invented a new kind of pliers whose purpose was first to crush men's testicles and then to cut them off. They raped women with bayonets. They raped men. Similarly, a favoured technique was to ram sand up the rectum with a stick. Sometimes they were rolled up in barbed wire and kicked around the compound until they bled to death. Some of the British soldiers boasted about this. This is within living memory. The colonial secretary lied about it. 
the papers documenting it were burnt. The impact of the rich and powerful nations has been so phenomenally murderous and destructive that it has been completely airbrushed from our national consciousness. In order to justify the land-grabbing colonial projects, you had to create an ideology. We, the Europeans or the Americans, have come to rescue the rest of the world from its depravity and backwardness. But in order to do that, you have to be able to demonstrate that the rest of the world is depraved and backward. From this arose the racism that is still with us today. It was a necessary component of the colonial project. Some people might claim, well, OK, we broke a few eggs to make this omelette. It's as if all those human beings were eggs. But look at the omelette. Isn't it fantastic? Look, we've made this fantastic omelette. Forget about all that unpleasant stuff and let's just celebrate where we are. Where we are is a continuation of the project. We commodified people's land and people's labour and turned it into our property. We're also destroying the rest of the living world alongside it. We don't have to be like this. We are the same human beings as anybody else. We're all part of the same big human family. We just have to recognise that, accept that. And of course, within Western countries, there are plenty of brilliant people resisting colonization, both internal colonization within our own countries and external colonization of other people's countries. After the Second World War, there was an uprising by the Kikuyu people who wanted their land. Ah, uh, use up, man. I'm out, yeah? Say less, man. Big up, big up. Big up on ourselves and that thing. Yeah, yeah. I'll get this work done, yeah, because... Let's have a video real quick. Not for... I heard you dock someone on your... But it was in your, in your own name though, yeah? You want to be careful? Yeah, I have docked someone. I've docked, so, I've, I've docked someone that I've warned time and time and time again to leave me alone. Leave me alone. And he can't keep my name out of his stinking, rotten mouth. You're a liar! That's, that's so that's why Yeah, but I'm just saying to you, though, yeah? I would advise you not to put anyone else's address up. So, yeah, deal with that. You can't. Bad, bad, done, bad, bad, done, bad, bad, done. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Majesty, it's time to uh, knight Mr. Farage. Oh, if you would like good. to kneel there. Come on then. Don't hurt me. <laughs> well, thank you. You are now you Sir <laughs> Nigel Farage. We're also making you Honorary British Ambassador to America and Honorary MP for South Planet because they thank didn't you. Uh, let you for real. So arise, Sir Nigel. Thank you very much. I'm honoured. 
My mummy says you hate foreigners. No, no, Is little she? girl. No, oh, no, 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 no. Right. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> that's very naughty. Uh, anything about that, but we're just trying to stop Muslim. You got Muslim rate guns nowadays. Yo, John, check your inbox. I just sent you a link. Follow it and go suck your mother.